towards Maryland, going around traffic. This point, he's near the intersection somewhere. Sedan or SUV? SUV, very bright front light, so it's never able to get close enough for the plane, but as soon as I got behind it, I went, went south on it to hand it started. Dustin Corners, got to Edgerton, floored it on our own traffic. There's been some activity around Clay Sauce today. Had a few bodies outside right there. Go this way, as long as they're down there. Yep. Black SUV, looked like an Audi, my guess, one of the smaller SUVs, um, I'd have to look it up, but uh, it's going to be one of the smaller size Audi SUVs, black in color, look newer as well. Did you say anything about a headlight? You said they're real bright. He was flying to, he blew that stop sign at every shooting case. Probably in 60 miles an hour. Yeah, we're able to get a better look. I was always from behind it. Like I said, that's a guess on the vehicle, but kind of matches up. I was two blocks to the west, I just saw him. Um, flying to the intersection. Followed or not? Nah. That's, that's no way that's. They would have mentioned that. They would have mentioned that exhaust. Yeah. Well, he didn't wreck all the way to Larpenter. Yeah, I got him. Yeah. He doesn't know I'm behind him. He's northbound. Edgerton ah. from. I know, I'm north of Maryland here somewhere. Well, let's get her six. Yep, here. I've had, uh, Edgerton Wheelock. Here. Get another one? Looking for it. I lost. Coming up to Wheelock here. I have no idea where he went. Unless he's flying so fast. Right here. Oh, he was flying. I don't know where he went. Well, there was one that went west on Wheelock before us. That's got to be it. I saw Take a side. He didn't make the bat. I know that. So, took a side here somewhere. I'm telling him we came down the edge of He only he had a trip before we, uh, Wheelock or before. I saw one turn here. Bob saw something turn west on Wheelock. How long were you there at the intersection, Andrew? As he said, he was northbound Edgerton. I had eyes on the intersection. I didn't see both through. Okay, he had to have turned off before we locked in. Okay. What about Arlington? Well, I mean, I mean Arlington. It has to go Arlington then, right? It's yeah. black, right? Can we go secure for a second? on Edgerton from uh, Wheelock. I don't know though because you know when Alex said he's at Wheelock and Edgerton, he wasn't. He was at Payne. We were, we were coming down there, you saw him pull up there, right? 
Yeah. I, I think there was a car that turned left on Wheela before, okay. before he got Can you confirm maker model once you got behind him? Not that that may help us. No, he was already moving. I don't know why he's moving so fast. He didn't turn on when it's just going down the road. Small SUV black. Yeah, any indication they're coming uh, southbound to the alley now there. So they did take my squad. And they welcome to uh, Live on Patrol. We, we jumped in here in the middle of a pursuit of a what's believed to be a stolen car that came from the back of 594 Case, which is our most frequent location today of stolen. We are looking for, backseater is a dark black SUV believed to be an Audi flying around. The headlights on it are unusually bright. If you see it, don't message us here before you call 911. Call 911 and then message us. didn't go east on Edgerton. Definitely a newer model. And uh Where did it go though? Mike saw it the time up had enough time had elapsed that it had to do a dipsy doodle. Because mm -hmm. it wouldn't have been there from the earlier one. So it's you know some guys flee dipsy doodly. So to speak, double back, take a left, take a left, take a left. And some guys flee like, get the heck out of Dodge. Somebody run Mike Charlie Lima 944. Mike Charlie Lima 944. Ah, uh, disregard. He's pulling over. Would you turn your... What? I know. And your headlights aren't on. I think you have your daylight running lights on. So turn the thing all the way. There you go. Almost had a close encounter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely disregard to me. Close encounter. So, welcome and uh, appreciate you joining us. Some of you joined us for the parade, others probably watch it later or never watch it, but we had a great time at Moundsview. Yeah, that was great. One night, a lot, of, a lot of kids that were standing up and respecting the flag. We appreciate that. That was really nice to see. Sounds fast. 
that's all it is. It's sounding fast. couple pieces of crime news today. Remember we inkled yesterday that there was an important arrest? The St. Paul Police Department has um, arrested and charged a 15-year-old juvenile with uh, criminal vehicular operation resulting in homicide. We're very, very uh, pleased with that. You know, we worked on that case, our intel unit in particular, and our cat unit worked, worked on that as well. So a lot of good teamwork with the St. Paul Police Department there. Yeah, it really was. There's some bright lights there. Yes. It's starting to rain, Pat. Yes, it is. I did say it might, it might rain a bit. So, I'm pleased to announce that arrest of 15 year old. The county attorney indicated they will probably certify the individual. And I'm also pleased to say that some of your gift card donations did pay off. Absolutely. In that manner, so thank you for that. And for those of you unfamiliar with the term, when Bob says they're looking to certify him, that's referring to certify him as an adult for adult prosecution and sentencing. So that was good news. Today, so. today I also... Uh, joined U.S. Attorney Andy Luger in a press conference on combating violent crime. I'm not going to go over too much of it, um, except to say that those of us in law enforcement greatly appreciate Andy Luger's leadership and his willingness to charge federal offenses on gun-related crime. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Go ahead. Take a right. Take a right. If you're on, if you take a right on Andrew. Yep. Yep. Check it out. Although I, sus I suspect the audience are not coming too quickly. But, uh, got it. Got it. Anyhow, uh, one of the interesting things that uh, Mr. Luger said is that they've identified a problem of criminals not taking the justice system seriously. Of course, most cops think that anyhow, but yeah. it's great to have a U.S. attorney. He quoted one of the charged parties, it's 30 some charged parties that got arrested with fentanyl and a machine gun. Okay. Mm. So 
So if you get arrested with fentanyl and any drugs in a machine gun, it's a 30 year mandatory federal sentence. Can you imagine? That has an impact. So what So, one of the drug lords, you can read it, you can read the quotes in the paper, his last name was Scott. While he was getting booked by the federal agents, he told the federal agents, I'm going to be out, out of jail, even if I can be convicted, I'm going to be out in a couple of years, and I'm still going to be the king. Huh. Still going to be the king. And instantly I flashed my brain, you know, because you know I'm a movie guy. I flashed to the Lion King movie. Okay. You know? Four, four, You're just not going to be yeah, the king, you know, because yeah, water is water. Water. there's a big yeah. argument over who's going to be the king. So this guy's clearly That's not going to be the king. Whatever. Nope, he's not. He might be the king of the jungle, though. The jail jungle. What the heck is that? EBS 372. ugly inside of jail. Yes, it can. Even federal prisons are. There's a party going on here. I used to think those red lights would help us. So sure. <laughs> well, I got three on pet. I'm not hearing a darn thing. Nope. So yesterday, there was a Audi, silver Audi from Minneapolis, a different Audi than this one, but clearly the Audis are getting more popular, that robbed several people in Minneapolis. 273, we're going to be in King and Orleans. Oh, the white one. The white one over White one, yeah. 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 And the white one, there were three Audis yesterday, black, silver, and white. But the white one robbed several people in Minneapolis and then came over to Highland Park and robbed a woman in the 1900 block of Juliet. May have been trying to carjack her, but she was struck and assaulted. You'll probably read more of this story here in the next couple days. Yeah, but I'll reopen it now. Let's, uh... And after that, then there was a shooting down on near Rice and Milford, and the Audi was seen leaving. We had the plate. It was seen leaving that area at a high rate of speed. So the squads attempted to keep up and failed. So we mustered last night. We came in. I don't know what time was that, Pat? Uh, yeah, about 10. 10. Came in to look for the Audi. And uh, the Audi was on the move. Actually, the St. Paul squad found it unoccupied in the middle of the street on geranium but in the meantime action alex got a hold of the owner or actually joel might have been joe miller i'm not sure yep. one of them got a hold of the owner of another stolen car a mercedes that we have been worried about and, uh, and they were able to track the mercedes and Alex and Pat and a couple other squads blocked him in and uh, arrested two of the occupants in the Mercedes, which by the way, both of the arrestees were people we've arrested a few times before. Yes, indeed. And three of the people that were near the car, were, were, we ended up talking to and we know them as well. So... And the Mercedes had been with a stolen Kia earlier in the day. Honey, 
you an assist at a white So lane. many of these different yeah. stolens end up being connected to each Wicker other, and committing further crimes with each other. Nature of the beast when it's raining out. Two six four. Nothing much we can do about that. Two six four. This will be a DOC and assisted with two eight zero and four twenty. I think all things considered, it's actually pretty good. Seventy one thirty two. It'll probably stop here in a little bit. Probably. And if you haven't shared this yet with your friends, please do. Phone call request on effect. Two six one. I believe it's going to be the same female. We start calling for a DOC. We're going to be seven street at Grand Seven Four on a female. Matches are just for connecting erratically. It's fine to you. One of your friends there is acting erratically at Grand Seven. Probably she's watching live on patrol. Two eight eight. Just wants to know what's going on, man. Well, one of our Dave, one of our tech Two wizards, eight, says eight. that it looks great. Next week we are going to have a special announcement. We're going to have a midweek, a midweek telecast. We'll have a special announcement on 4448. Wednesday. Hey, buddy. Hi, how are you guys? What's happening? Good. Yeah, it started off pretty busy. Yeah, I know. We talk to them all the time. We love them. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you for, they're nice kids. You got some nice children. Take care, you guys. Thanks a lot. Right. So anyhow, next week, Wednesday, midweek, special announcement. Feel free to guess what it is. back there. It's not an Audi. There's a few times in our careers that we've actually had our gun on our laps. Right, Pat? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, probably we're skilled enough that what happened to Mahabad Noor wouldn't happen to us. But, it's not, it's not that you never have your gun on your lap. Far from it. Sometimes when you know you're going into Lion's Den of... Squad 3 traffic. 3 7 Squad 3 What are we going to do tonight? What are we going to do tonight? Pardon me? Information for Excuse me? Excuse me, sir. Do you have a problem with something I'm doing? You. Just to make sure you knew we were the good guys. Not the ops. Remember that? 264, start medic. 30 year old female, conscious, breathing. She requested I go to the hospital. If you didn't flick the lights, they'd get nervous about who you were. Oh, yeah. You click the lights, they get mad. Yeah, that's just like I said, I, in the old days, I used to think, think of the lights are always good. Probably dumped the audio up on the hill there in Greenbrier, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. 
the river. Here. I got plenty of help coming your way. You <laughs> better go up there and check that. Mm -hmm. You're right. 20, 27, 50, 20, 20. Still got our tag on? Yep. So we used Elfelt and Lafond used to be the leading location for stolens. Before that, it was probably a 2050 Wilson, but now it's definitely a 594 case. Hi people, how's it going? Well, let me ask you a question. Come over and let me ask you a question. How do you feel about car thieves? Mm. Would you live right now? Yeah. You only get a gift card if you know that the car thieves are stealing people's stuff and they shouldn't do that, right? Oh yeah. You agree with that? Yeah. Because the thing is, where are you headed? Oh, I'm finna, uh... Yeah, we're on live today. <laughs> I'm acting real bad on my baby. Yeah. Be bad, though. <laughs> tell me, be bad, Don't, you and she Yeah, I'm finna go DT, though. Go what? I'm finna go downtown. Yeah, okay, there you go. On your way down there. There you go. That's all I got. Wait, That's how, how much? How, how much is on here? $10. Dollars. We're cutting back on gift cards because somebody threw a rock at us over there on Keys. Stop at one of my parents in the alley? Yeah. Anyway, oh, they focus the sale. Damn, they got you fucked up, Bob. Well, fortunately, it hit our window. Can she get a gift card too? Does she deserve one? I gave her one last night. Bob knows. I'm his favorite out here. Bob, can Q give her a gift card? I gave her one last night. Can I Q give you another? No, not last night. I haven't seen another gift card. Last time you seen me was on Arlington. Yeah. Is she is she your sister? Yeah. Or your girlfriend? No, nah, this my sister. Do you see how little this boy? Why would I be dating her, bro? You sound stupid, bro. Get your dumb ass. Hey, listen. A guy's gotta have high hopes, right? Not that high, baby. Don't you think? Not yeah. that high? Well, he's a cute yeah. kid, right? He is. He's adorable. Him with them. Get your dumb ass. Bob, y'all y'all hot tonight. I don't know what but I got. But you got another McDonald's this one? Is, I think that's for her. What's this? It's a McDonald's card. 4431 traffic. 4431, go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. East Thanks for saying thank you. McKnight, Charles, George, Paul, 988. What we got going on over here, Pat? Have that. Any idea? I'm about to find out. <sighs> got some unmarks working tonight, huh? Was there Nina? Who's got? Who's driving her around? Whose car is that? Is that Kills? Is that? Yeah, that's an Explorer, isn't it? Who's who? Are you driving with? Kill good. You you blew us off. We were gonna take you. Yep. <laughs> 44, sir, you want to update? It's going to Traffic be Traffic stop with no more detail. That's too little for you. <laughs> How's everyone? Yeah, what's up? Slow night. Throwing on it. Yeah. Just don't drive. Just do Uber. Uber. What's going on here? Anything? Not too much. Just a metal show. Oh, who's playing? Definitely. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? That's kind of big. Can we get another here? Bad driving. Bad driving? That's Bad driving. Really driving. Enough for like <laughs> six dog cars? Yeah. Deaf driving. It's called deaf driving. Deaf driving, yeah. <laughs> and just what, one vehicle? Yeah. 
It'll be fine. All right, was this the smoking lounge? Yeah, so they, don't, they, don't, right. they, they, don't do, they don't allow it indoors anymore. So yeah, that's what I was wondering. Right? So. You should get an awning. All right, later. See you guys. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Enjoy the for the So I'm getting aggressive. Female. Right in front of the car, yelling at everyone. Where's that at? Yeah, I'm going to be aiming for my couple of hours. Is it a white bread cone? Or Alice's? Yeah. Yeah, I can pull that Should I just tell him, see if Pat's at the Sherwood? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm headed it? that way, Alex. I'm at uh, Kennard in Maryland. Speaking of which, tomorrow at the Sherwood Lounge at 1418 White Bear Avenue, there, right there is the annual fundraiser for Heights Elementary. And for $15, you get... Uh, which Heights? Uh, I don't that's it, just the name of it now. It's just Heights. Is that, was it over on the east side? Yeah, I think, I think it's... Uh, it might be Yeah, okay. That sounds right. And uh, for 15 bucks, you get in and you get to partake of a pig roast. And I believe you get a beer cup. And they have silent auctions and raffles. And starts at 2 p.m. And one of the uh, auction items is a ride along with a Ramsey County patrol deputy. Did they get to pick which one? <laughs> Just kidding. So I plan on being there from about two o'clock for a little while. Here, you check that two eight eight call. Yep, I guess in Disorderly conduct to Grand Seven. What is this? Did they say she's uncooperative or something? Yeah. They got eight cars in there? Not everybody's there. Two are there and six are on the way. Well. You know, I know who it is. It's that woman that I saw the other day in the window of Cassettas. Yeah, she's a, she's a, got mental health issues. She uh, have a shaved head? This one did. Well, I mean, she could have had a wig on. But, uh, but apparently the, the guys at downtown or at Burger Bowles were familiar with her. She was standing in the window. That's he said something about her climbing in the window there, right? Yep. Well, they, they should get those people in some type of... Went for children's hospital. Oh, she's running. Ran great, said her blue jeans. They should get her some permanent help. Have you seen one of those in front of the bar? Possibly went towards children wearing a gray sweater and blue jeans. Temperature outside 66. Well, anyway, she's not wanted for anything, she just wanted out of here. She was acting violent for customer. I don't know, I mean, this is the thing about police. I've not wanted for anything, just acting violent for It isn't customer. so much that we need social workers, it's that we need resources for the officers to use when they run across the person that needs a social worker. Mm -hmm.
So back on the press conference, I'm feeling like we made progress with the federal prosecution, the, team, the teamwork between the agencies. You know, there's progress being made. But public safety is a is a puzzle. And you need all the pieces to solve the puzzle. Yep. Um, the great part is you need accountability like at the adult level. U.S. Attorney Luger is bringing that accountability. You need a strong message to the criminal element that if you cross the line, you're going to be held accountable. And that's awesome. As well. uh, and I'll say the other thing is, Andy Luger has helped improve the morale of law enforcement. Oh, immensely. And that was really needed right now. And, you know, we've I've tried, done my part, I hope, but having a U.S. attorney stand up and talk about the importance of stemming violent crime and supporting the okay, cops. Four, four, you can for any other the only two parts to the puzzle that he, he can't really help on is the juvenile crime problem because the feds don't prosecute juveniles. Right. And that really is the county attorney's job here in John Choi and whoever gets elected in Hennepin County. And then the second part is the number of police officers. Minneapolis, I saw a new report yesterday, they're down 300 officers. But we're never going to combat this crime problem until Minneapolis has enough officers to actually arrest the people. Absolutely. So juvenile crime and the number of officers, two unanswered pieces of the puzzle. And the minimum number that they have by city charter that they're apparently sticking with is yeah. nowhere near uh, enough. I'm going to ask a rhetorical question, and this is for all the people living in Hennepin County. All right, it's, a, it's rhetorical in that I don't really need you to answer. I'm not going to subscribe any particular names. But does it make any sense to have the chief public defender who's been defending criminals for years to somehow become the chief prosecutor. So, you got to ask yourself that question. you got to dig into the records of all these candidates in terms of what they actually believe and have done. But I can't get my mind wrapped around the fact how we could possibly have a chief prosecutor that you spent a lifetime of being a chief public defender, defender of the criminals that we're trying to charge. I'm gonna, we're going to talk more about that in the future. Just, it's food for thought. Yes, indeed. So, toward Children's Hospital. I'll recognize her, I think, if I see her. so humid this afternoon, I decided to wear shorts tonight. Tubby. Well, it's getting dry and cool. <laughs> Murphy's Law. See if I can find an update.
Uh, they can start with the Sergeant of Cap Damage Shot, Slayer, Type 10 Point, 102 Black. Slayer 929, check your status. 2902. Well, they have United Hospital in the call, but it doesn't. So that must be where it's Three seven six. That's going to be related to that uh, loud zone. The what? Zero one nine five. This is United Hospital, the main entrance. Squad said he was out here, but I'm guessing he was out at the emergency room. Yeah, that's what Just in case we're going to swing by there, because based on the fact that they were calling for backup earlier, Good for you to see. We have, we have amazing hospital complexes here in the Twin Cities. Probably one of the best collection of hospitals in the country. Absolutely. He said that it was uh, related to fireworks. Shots fired. Oh, he did. Thank yeah. you. So United and Children's, I've told the story before, but little Bob's life was saved by the doctors here at Children's Hospital when he was very little. I see somebody pointing in the window here. So, little Bob's case, when he was born, he couldn't keep food down. And we weren't really sure what was going on, to be honest with you. Like any new parents, you, you want to believe everything's going to be fine, but... Your squad that's able to start to... 1300 Wilson, number 411. Marked as a disturbance of heading, but fire is going. Caller had reported loud music from the unit above them, and water is coming down into their apartment as well. My wife, to her credit, insisted, it was her <laughs> motherly <laughs> instincts, insisted that we take him down to Children's Hospital. So right there, we took him right in there. Happy to search the copy that call. Thankfully, they were suspicious too. He hadn't gained much weight since he was born, just a few days old, but wasn't eating much, really eating anything. So they did an ultrasound. I don't know, maybe it was even a CT. I thought it was an ultrasound. And they determined that he had what is called a malrotation. Now it turns out a malrotation of your intestines means that your intestines grew inside you but in a strange way and they got rotated into a knot especially essentially they rotated the wrong way so you can't pass stuff through there and i remember when the doctor met with me first thank you guys i appreciate it partly because my wife was in a total panic no problem and when they told her, she just fell to her knees, you know. Wow. Basically what they said, we're, we're clearing all the other surgeries and we're taking him into surgery immediately. Because if you have a malrotation for a lengthy period of time, your intestines can die or your bowels can die. 44, 31, 12, so 12, this, 12, now he's, We're talking he's five days old. And they're figuring this stuff out. 
How, how old? Five days. Five days. Maybe four. Wow. I don't know. For four or five, it was all a big blur. Um. So, uh, went in for surgery, and he did remarkably well. Basically, they take your intestines out, and then they put them back in, in a way that it's all straight. Well, I don't know if straight is the right word, but not mal-rotated. The doctor said, I took his appendix out as long as I was in there. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have to worry about it. Oh, well, why not? Oh, thank God Chris had, had the instincts. Yeah, it was totally her. It was totally her. Because, you know me, I'm always assuming things are normal, you know. And, uh, but when they said we're clearing our surgery schedule, get them in immediately. Then you knew that the doctors thought it was serious. So from that day forward, we have sung, sung the praises of the doctors at Children's Hospital. Dr. Ace was there uh, as our doctor that I, I kind of knew from working at St. Paul, but I forget the surgeon's name, but I'm sure I could come up with it if I thought. But just thank you doctors for saving our son's future. Little things like that turn the life around. 's is preparing to reopen yeah and you know what they're gonna call it minis <laughs> and he said I've had it with that guy he hasn't been open for ages I'm opening it myself it would be I mean I know that there's no connection but it would be nice to get a big mini statue a Mickey statue down there huh Put it on top. Absolutely. <laughs> well, my friend Paula spent much of the week at United Hospital Smith and George with Nicole, her uh, Bravo, with her dad Ford. Clyde, and uh, he is home now. Stevens having a having a medical fight that we hope he wins. And uh, Clyde, thanks for thanks for being a backseater. And Paula and Clyde prayers to you both. I don't know what we're going to do if the nurse is going on strike, huh? We're in a skirt with long hair, screaming and running down the street. The nurse is all 15,000 nurses, might go on strike here. Another couple weeks. Yeah. Another description there, Leslie going towards Colin, Hall 9, and East West Hillview. I'll tell you what, I, uh, nurses are heroes, frontline heroes, no doubt about it. Oh, absolutely. The other group that's totally underpaid is teachers. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I watched a story about the teaching shortage tonight on the news. And it's nationwide, okay? Nationwide, the shortage of teachers. Copy that, I'll update it. 50% of the people that have teaching degrees have decided not to teach. Either left the industry or decided, I don't, I'm not actually going to get into it. 50%. That's scary. And part of it's the pay. Part of it is the obviously teaching is tough with 
the behavior of kids sometimes. Right. Uh, part of it's some of the debates about what to teach and not, but the whole point is that we're only we're only going to be as good of a country as we're, our education for our kids. Uh, we do have to prioritize educators. Hi, did you catch that uh, while you were coming up by where we were? Such a copy. It wasn't Roseville or Trinity. Yeah, yeah, are you going to head that way? Yeah, I'm just at the Trinity. Yeah. 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 Is that three or what? Yeah, turn around. That they're at the yes. outside of Walgreens. 178 arriving, 29662. What do we got there? Three guys with guns. Walgreens, which one? Yeah. Prosperity and Mural. Prosperity, no, that's the I don't know if that's right. I might be wrong. I don't think that one's open. But it might be the one on. Could be open, but what time is it? Might be the one on. 4483 and 4429. Actually, right, you're from Lake Holiday. Yep, that's where it is. Okay. A3 for each of us, both of us, and Pizza Hut. Yeah, but Three guys pointing pistols at each other. They were in a black SUV. There's at least one black male. One thing is okay. They had a black SUV there on the license drive to the south side of the building, and the big one's about to go talk to the car. Oh, now it's at Pizza Hut. Or maybe the caller was at Pizza Hut. Yeah. 361, you copy? 361, we copy that. Do you know if there's a mutual channel we can communicate with them? We'll go to our pool one. Three six four one. Forty four eighty three and forty four two nine. All squads are in the parking lot, and we're going to get out there. Three, six, one. All squads are in our pool, one. Maplewood is going to handle the dispatching for that. Our pool, one. All squads in the Maplewood are in our pool, one. Which wood? What do you want? Just take both of them on the common channel. I put that on the Maplewood channel. You can use this one, though, if you want, for the our pool, one. I just want to... Being made, I'm guessing Maplewood will actually merge them, but just in case, I want to be on East. 2326 over land, Edward Secret Secret, 2330. They're probably long gone. Copy 2326 over land. Maple, you get a couple of them there in the county. Do we know if they threaten anybody with weapons? Each other. <laughs> 2951. Everything's clear around Walgreens. Not a single car or person around Walgreens. Dispatch copy. 361 on Marvin. Car 41 is headed. Walgreens. Copy. 4483 info. There we go. Go ahead. Two parties here saw a black Chrysler and a black Suburban in the Walgreens parking lot. There were three individuals over there total. They did hear arguing, but no shots fired. Uh, one of the people saw one was holding a pistol and one was holding what they thought was a long gun. And both of the vehicles went southbound along the west side of Walgreens. That's all the info I've got right now. 
copy. There's a black Chrysler, black Suburban, and the Walgreens. Three people are arguing. One of the people had a pistol, another had a long gun. So I see it southbound behind the Walgreens. It's way too sensitive. Okay, it's suspicious. I'll be clear. SNR with 167188. Then you can send me a Langford Park. Pretty close. Was it ever on our pool or was it just on East? It was. They were merged, right? Squad to Mac 30, Langford Park. I'm from Nate Cochran Hall. Squad to Mac 30, Langford Park. I'm in the quarterly. A group of people outside the rec center, roughly 50. Companies that caught marijuana. That's uh, unusual. On Langford near Stockton Field. I don't think I've ever heard of a call at Langford Park with 50 people. One day there. I'm talking 40 years. That would almost be interesting to see what it is. Maybe not a for me, what it was a black person, black suburban, and Walgreens. Three people arguing, one of which had a pistol, the other which had a long gun, left, southbound area. Yeah. Well, you know, it used to say don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Now it's don't bring a pistol yeah. to a, a, a long, long gun fight. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just for information, air fireworks from KH4, just in case you get some phone calls. Two people location. KHS field. This what little restaurant there? right here, Kong's Kitchen. Yeah? Outstanding. Oh. The girls are arrow tracks all the way to Highly recommend it. Back in no one play in the Well, we are searching for suspect vehicles. That's about a few things. 5196. Honestly? 364. We're called 4 for medics and fighters. You can't tell me. 8196. There aren't many suspects right now. 8196. I mean, there aren't many suspects. 8190 will be back in 9-7. So you can put me on in traffic. I'll be central on 694. Not a ton of crime right now. No, there's not. You know, that little smiley kid that was talking to us on the corner? Alex, I'm going to work yes. my way back to St. Paul. Hey, Me too. 8197, check your status. Uh, 9 will be control Can you go to field? 4 Copy control on field 3, 7, 6 Here it comes now, it's weird 3, 7, 6 I had the squad, or I'm sorry, the caller from down the left, you guys had the squad Set at this green light for a while before we return 81, I think the plate will be 5, 6, 2, William, Adam, Adam Copy one that went this way, one that turned. 264. 2372. Definitely not a 2372. There's a black Tahoe and a black Chrysler at the 1700 race where the lamp plate used to be. Trying to catch up to the Chrysler. It's westbound on wheel lock. Westbound wheel lock trying to catch up with a black Chrysler or black Tahoe. Two uh, squads on this one complaint. Yeah. County is trying to Rice, catch up to a uh, black Chrysler and a black Suburban. Oh. The westbound wheel lock. From. Normally it's. Stop. Hey, What's the deal? Finish the sentence. Westbound wheel lock from. Oh. Rice. He said it earlier. He said 1700 Weiss, which isn't the right address, but... Yeah, that, that 2372, Nora, Mary, Henry, 428. I don't know if it's really the 
disabled or wrong shot. It's tough to uh, get from. Get a go What's around. your south location? We lock in Idaho. Give me this. Give me the phone. Uh, updated information. Okay. It's going to be a wheelock in Idaho. That's where the squad has it. Quickly. Hey guys, it's too much for that call. 2362, it's Geo job as a sheriff to make sure there's a balance between Happy. emergency response. Everyone, I'll show you clear. Clear and I'll show you around. And a safety line. And I, I, don't, 431 is I don't make any bones about it. There's. Do you want me to put you on county's call? I, we drive fast a lot. Paper. Squads do, but sometimes, Happy. sometimes that, that extra speed only gets you another 20 seconds, maybe 30, but it causes increases the risk of having some type of accident. So, ultimately, the buck stops with me. <laughs> Indeed. Well, Penny Vaughn, definitely want to give a big you shout out to, uh, to Tony, who's a longtime backseater. And uh, he's Copy going through chemo right now. We wish him the very best. And thanks thanks for watching us, Tony. Got a little lull here. Joan Love, your, uh, your friend Brenda, wants to give you a shout out for your birthday that was yesterday. Happy birthday. 8196, checking traffic. 4440. 4440. So it sounds like this is the ex-boyfriend who's unseen. He's currently driving around the lot in a black Caddy SDS, unknown plate. This is me, Carl Johnson. He's a black and white mixed male, 44 years old, 5'7", average. 4440, I guess. 2226. Copy. 361. 361. Take a look at, uh... Just a bit off, so that was checking in the north connection to the walking parking lot. Must be tied. Yeah, location where you initially saw when heard. Can you check the uh, see who's, who's running on that one? Who's what? Well, sometimes they put the names in the. Uh, can you actually pull that back up? Again? 8197, check your status. Yeah, yeah. Pockets of a squad checking the north entrance to the logger. It's looking for the same. Yeah, I'm looking for the north entrance. Copy at 2327. 
That's not survived because number though. 4431, you called me almost up to Negative result. Oh, you're right, sorry. Remember that. Copy negative result, that's the location. Uh-huh. No, 27. Might have cleared it already. Must have. Yeah, it does. Possibly a silver Toyota sedan. I think it might have turned east on them. Well, you had the plate on the LPR, right? Possibly going to be a silver Toyota sedan. Possibly on east on Haha. Happy vehicles on Haha. So we're just squad just put out that they saw a stolen southbound on white bear. Oh, stolen. Here's all the buses call. Can I uh, clear the patch with our pull one? So we're yeah, looking for a silver car. Yeah, I mean, uh, same. Maple would be dropping the patch with our pull one. Fly two forty. Fly two forty. Yep. Well, even I can't remember to fly. <laughs> Uh, Love it when they and there's two hundred like and forty numbers for every half mile in Ramsey County. <laughs> no. Hey, hey. Did, did I did I mention three five? You can clear the air. We lost it. Did I mentioned Buzz no, Lightyear. Clear. <laughs> Happy canceling ten two ten three twenty two thirty two. Traffic over the 
I will be clearing in the cat here. Thanks. Sunny Lee was down here at Battle Creek Elementary yesterday making a visit to her old elementary school. Nice. That was pretty cool. Very. There's a picture. Her, um, her gym teacher was quoted, Sunny Lee's gym teacher. When she was real little, she used to do district gymnastic meets. He had a picture of her with all these little medals from these youth tournaments around well. her. And he was quoting, he was telling her how she probably could get a scholarship to go to college. Wow. You know, when she was little. And you know what she told him? Mm. Well, I, I, my goal is. Well, no, the same they're tied. Anyhow, Suni told when she was like in third or fourth grade, she told her gym teacher, "Well, college would be nice, but I, my first goal is to win a gold medal." Door on the north side. There, that kid had her goal, had her goal set. Yes, she did. What do you think is going on with this guy here? John, blackmail, sixty to seventy years old, wearing a red shirt, currently in apartment three thirteen. Not everybody drives 15, 15 miles an hour. Oh, maybe he's looking for something. FLX. FLY. FLX. Lives in the 800 block of Flandreau. 3937. Five seven, lights can't blackmail. Uh, is there a bar here? Two I believe. Two one eight is the one. Oh, okay. Copy. Corinthian Market. Copy. 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 Just confused or disoriented, or oops. Copy, 35 north of 694, trying to stop one. I haven't tried to stop it yet. Six one over here, Rob. 20 or 64, Rob. Very nice man, just confused, was coming to an event here at a building, but he was lost. Very confused, not intoxicated. Slight language issue. 152 868. Had a nice accent. Pleasant accent. Yes, he did. One of those friendly accents. 
friendly exit. Let me contact the resident. Copy, yeah, vehicle south, 332 north. He had a female taken out to an apartment and attacked him. He thinks that the female might be living on the fourth floor. I'm not sure of what apartment number. Copy, a further call. She's possibly going to be apartment 404. Did you? Where'd she go? There she is. The dog owner. What do we got here? Three four twenty nine. You can send me the disturbance. Looks like Happy. Four fifty McKnight Road South, apartment one hundred four. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, disturbance comes to said about jumping and running in that apartment. What do you like to call it? Back on that. Negative all advice. Copy that. Enjoy. All the way over to that apartment building. Go ahead. Huh. 4483. I'm free, I'll back. 4488 is back. You're not going to show me clear for now. Copy that. Sounds like they're going to be related. I believe we're still trying to figure it out. What's on channel one over here, Pat? It comes back on a 2009 Nissan Blue Versa, registers at 373 Old Highway 8 South West. Are you talking a call? No. I just said there's not much going on. Hmm. <laughs> Might be the wrong chart. Yeah, I got the other one over here. Oh, you found it? No, but I got yours that you gave me that backup. Oh. One hundred ninety-nine thousand and ninety-three subscribers. Yep. All right, here we go. Here we go. Copy. Twelve four at twenty-two forty. Gotta run that plate. GSE two zero. That's the car that flew by us, and then now it's sitting there. I'm gonna check it out. All right, go for it. Very unusual, if not illegal, place to park. Hi, how are you? Good, you're picking somebody up? Okay, slow down a little bit, all right? Yeah, a little bit. All right? All right, you bet. Have a good night. Thank you. 2362, of course, for you. Of course, at 2241. Anyhow, do we have 199,093? So we got what? 907. 907. Left. That's right, to get to 200,000. So, if you are a YouTube follower, but you are not subscribed, we would be very appreciative and thankful. We have our little personal goal to get to 200,000. <coughs> and we know this, that 40% of the people that watch us on YouTube... Jeez, I hate that echo. Yeah. Yeah.
Anyhow, 40% of the people that watch us on YouTube are not subscribers. So all we need is 900 more people to subscribe to YouTube to make it to the 200,000 mark. That would be really cool. And we'd love to make it tonight. Pat said he's not going home until we get the 200,000. Yep, that's what I said, all right. So, I, <laughs> so I'm going to get him a hotel room. Grab him off. Because I'm going home. <laughs> Thirty-nine point nine. Check your status. Here we go. Plus point five. The eighteen twenty-seven address. Good luck, people in her twenties. Pull that one up. Twenty-seven zero. So we got a stolen Kia Forte. Eighteen hundred block of York. Twenty. Twenty. Just for the process awareness, the weapon portion of this is in the Kia combo. 8196. I just saw it. There it is. And if you want to keep my assault into their call, it's all the same thing. So what's that say? It was him? Yes. This is medics at 1114 Pike Lake Drive on a 76 year old male, conscious and breathing, who's feeling faint and weak. Oh, there's a Chrysler 300 there, too. Mm -hmm. Black one. Is, that, is it at the York address? Is that where I'm headed? Yes. All right. Probably, even though it's not reported stolen. Well, it left the scene. The silver Kia Forte left the scene. Okay. The comp, oh, the comp is in a black Chrysler 300. It was parked when it got hit by the Kia Forte. Anyhow, if you're a Facebook follower but you haven't subscribed on YouTube, please do. If you're a YouTube listener that hasn't subscribed ever and you wouldn't mind helping us get to the 200,000 mark, that'd be awesome. Just hover over the little icon, the live on patrol icon. I think I'm going right here, right? Mm hmm. Likely a stolen Kia that ran into this guy's car. To see how much damage we're talking so we know if there's headlights out or we're still looking for an Audi, black Audi. No front plate on it. Crazy up there. I think I'm pretty sure York is one. Yeah, it is. Right it is. Here. I think the, I think the squad is out with the complainant. Okay. Three eleven. Three eleven. Three at five. Some with comments. You can cancel three at five. We're in the area. Five three one seven. Three at five. Two hundred. Can you show me on a 
smoking and just pissing. How much damage do we think is on the Kia? Oh, it's on front end. Right there. Yeah, 300. Back in 1963, Stillwater. So that's the one that hit it? Yes. Okay. Stolen or you don't know yet? I don't think so. She had two kids in the back around uh, the house. Okay. She ran in the house. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. You do. Thank you. Okay. You know, that was a pretty smart conclusion that guy drew. Yeah, mm -hmm. He said, I don't think they were stolen because she had two kids in the middle school. There's uh, about four people in two different vehicles that, knocked through a tow truck in the parking lot. And then ran That's into the house. To go count police. They're trying to steal a vehicle. Check that one out, man. Maplewood. 4483 out back. Point Bear G. David. Everything's. People trying to steal a vehicle. 1492 County Road B. At John Glenn Middle School. Okay. We're all alma mater. Five years at John Glenn Middle School. Don't ask why. Four people in two different vehicles boxed around a tow truck in the parking lot. Really? Trying to steal a tow truck? Or the tow truck was towing a car? That sounds kind of like an interesting call, don't you think? Mm -hmm. The people, the viewers like to hear though what's in those notes. Four people boxed in a tow truck. Kind of one of those things where you gotta know what's up. You gotta, you gotta find out. Stolen. Uh, we can probably hold off for now just to see if Minneapolis is in the 
area. They're going to go east on 54 from the Green Avenue. Oh, they're not chasing. Minneapolis 5341. I'm not far away from you. Quarter, uh, at about 27 now. They're going about 10 miles an hour. I'm not sure if they're going for a place to wheel or not. So that is a great key of soul down at Western and St. Anthony. Uh, vehicle is right past there's two black males getting into it. Vehicle is going to go to the vehicle. No, at this point. Three, eight, seven, occupied once. Got a lot going on. Yeah, probably that. Hopefully, we're not going for seventy. A lot going. Well. And East Fifty Fourth Street, Columbus. That's gonna come across the Fourth Street Bridge. That one. Copy. I'm on Fifty. If it's already to the north of the Columbus and Fifty. Forty Four Thirty One. I'm going for. The road dead ahead. Everything code for. Yeah, 2250. Into her passing uh, 31st. But still continuing on 54th. Damn. I was tempted to go out on 36th and head to Highland Park. But. <laughs> 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 I think it's 4, I copy your route 1146 for me. I have news for me. 525 Highway 30 just left Perfect 105 on a 40 year old male. Did you say it was at Western earlier? Western, St. Anthony one? Yes. Copy 2254. She's at Lexington and Western now, but I was. She says that one's going to be there. 4483. Lexington and St. Anthony. But I think it was going the other way. She doesn't Three ones all good here. I'll be clear. Right around. Yeah, show me. Uh, it's not a scene on that thing on one. Copy. Copy. 2001. 2001 to 2039 Ide Street East. I don't want to hang up. I'm not stating that she was a phone. I'm going to open line on 30 miles. 30 airports. That's close. I'm going to ask you to tell her just to go. At 2255. Okay, we're actually three, four right now. And I'll have the back uh, to a Minuteman Auto Sale. Uh, I'm going to have the Well, it's starting to ramp up there. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, name is 2 j 1980 one, two, two, you copy that as well. No, we got a lot of It's hard to follow it all. We got six channels going, and there's something on the seventh one. You sure are able to work a lot more out of it than me. <laughs> well, everybody's got their thing. You got, you got, you can pick out cars. I have no idea what's Copy code 4 Hey. Negative 5 for TZD, I'll check the other channel. Checking for TZD squad on channel 3. That LTAC still going? Copy. Yeah, I believe so. Checking for TCD on channel 3.
that kind of stuff, but there's a bunch of people with birthdays and stuff. Yep. You just kind of go down there. I know. Sure can. Thank you, as long as we don't. I opened a few of them today, but I, you know, obviously don't remember. Well, Kate, your boyfriend Chad Kowalski would like uh, to wish you an early happy birthday. I hope you're watching. Hope you have a great one. Right. Well, they got two in custody in that thing. I don't, we don't know how it happened in Minneapolis and Richfield there, but they got two in custody. Sue Barris, you have your birthday coming up Sunday, huh? Well, your daughter Amy would like us to give you a shout out. Have a great birthday, Sue. Your dad, Chuck Patient, wants to wish you a happy 16th happy. birthday on the 22nd. Seven thirty one Fourth Street East, number one for India. Understand, you're going to be going into law enforcement after school. That's great. We need you aboard. Have a happy birthday, Noah. Noah. Because kids were running from fourth and base. I'll find a bit figured out. Jordan, Jordan Kraft is one of our backseaters from on Ontario, Canada. Been watching since day one. His birthday is Sunday, number 28. Happy birthday, Jordan. John Edward King, 458, stolen 2021, Kia Soul. No, he's just been monitoring the call. And That's the one. That, was, but that must have been the address that was stolen from. Yes. It's right, it's right by. Correct. St. Anthony. Yeah, I just gave it a common location when I said it. Oh, Steve, you married your sweetheart Sarah today. 
your mom, Jennifer, Je er Jennifer Erickson, wants us to give you a shout out. Congratulations, you guys. Martha, your Thank husband you, Joe Christian wants us to give you a shout out. Hope you recover quickly and fully. Was at that uh, press conference, Minneapolis Chief Amelia Huff was giving a uh, summary of their crime in Minneapolis. And sadly, their carjackings are still ahead of last year. They're not good. Their homicides aren't. Sound like a firework, but it could have been a small caliber 22. Right? Yep. It's unusual for just one firework to go off. More likely one 22. Your side or mine? I think mine. I'm thinking firecracker. Yeah. Echo here. I was going to swear it was mine. <clears throat> well, that's been on the park. You guys hear those pops? Where are they coming from? Well, it could be a language barrier, but exceptionally unhelpful. <coughs> There's a large group out here. We got some more lighting. Did you guys hear some fireworks? You hear some fireworks? That way? Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Who knows? Could have echoed from behind them too. Now let's go to the park first. So Turns out, digging a little further, there's a conflict going on between these two groups that are stealing Kias. Yes, there is. And uh, we've been talking to people on both sides that have been telling us what's been going on. So what happened, oh, there was a young man killed in a car up by Earl and what was the cross street up there? I forget the name of the street he was, the car was found on. But he, his shooting was apparently a retaliation for that night that a girl got shot here in Wilder Playground. Huh. So picture this. this. This is why we need to intervene in these cycles. We got young groups of car thieves that are, that are arguing amongst, themse amongst themselves and shooting each other. So, 
they end up getting in a shootout here at Wilder Playground and that causes them to retaliate and then they, they end up killing them. Now that suspect has been arrested. Charged with... I don't know, that boy didn't die, did he? But he was shot right in the face. Well, it's going to be 359 and water. Talking the one on Rose? Yeah, Rose. Rose on okay. Rose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose on Rose. Rose, yeah. So, anyhow, that was a retaliation for a shooting here. Motorcycle, I'll get you the ladies. I'll get you in a second. Which? Yeah. 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 Which at least you understand what the motive was at the time. Because it's so hard to understand why people are shooting each other in the wind. Retaliation is never a great idea, but... but once you understand what's going on, there's a possibility of intervening in it. Always the hope. Try not to get hit with a rock bat. Yeah, I don't know exactly who it is this time. Well, if they're not here, they're somewhere. How's that? <laughs> they're not here, they're somewhere. 9171. The group is heading out of here. You can clear advised. Copy that. 4483. <coughs> Did we mention we're trying to get more subscribers? <laughs> we are on the west side of 2024. Oh, there you go. Boy George Henry. Kind of turned suddenly up Jesse. I believe it's going to be in relation to that last night. Copy that. Oh my. Maybe not. If they're parking here, that's fine. Either plate 44 and 31. I can head that way again. Copy. Picking somebody up. Okay. Fuck you. Cross 5187. Check in your Charlie Uniform with Q195 heading southbound on Mariah. Plate comes back to a black Chevy Silverado, but the caller wasn't able, not able to clarify if it was Fox 5180. Pick up truck. Okay. Copy. 4448, we clear report. Happy. 382 car channel, plate the suspect vehicle went eastbound on 8th Street towards north, and caller will be. Clear out 62364, I'm copying around the alarm. 1306, I'm copying on E Echo at Holiday. Clear the exit glass break. 2317. What time is it, Pat? 1110. That's it? Action, damage. Holy mackerel, Pat. Maybe it was because we worked at the parade for an hour plus, huh? Yeah. Or it could be that the last half hour has been about four hours of radios. No kidding. Should we stop at the M&H? Reset. Why, why not? Nick, understand you turned 13 on the 23rd. Hey, Pat. 500 extra subscribers since we put the call out. Nice. Nice. Now that is real. Hey, backseaters, thank you. We're up to 199,565, and it was just what? 93. Yep. So that's 400, 470 new ones in the last 10 minutes. All right, you got to hear this because you're going to have a connection to this. It warms my heart. Very much so. Jennifer Meyer is wishing happy birthday to her son, Nick, who turns 13 on the 23rd. He received his Order of the Arrow in Boy Scouts this year. Awesome. He's been watching since week three. 
for you. That's amazing. Congratulations, Nick, and happy birthday. How old is he? Happy that. He's going to be 13 on the 23rd. All right, Nick, now repeat after me. The scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. And I know where I did my order of the arrow. I did my order of the arrow down in the St. Croix camp. Fred C. Anderson, Fred, St. Croix camp. The leaders take you out into the woods and they give you a boiled egg and say, sleep here, in the middle of the woods. That was just one of the many tasks towards Eagle Scout. But congratulations on your order of the arrow. Absolutely. It's quite an accomplishment. We might make the, you know, if people, if that continues tonight, we might make the 200,000 tonight. Oh, I think we're going to. Holy moly, Rocky. I saw some people who were researching where Holy Mackerel came from. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. Nobody's actually figured where that is, but... It just feels like a lot of things are going on, and I'm sure something's going to gel out of all this stuff tonight.
vehicle description? Silver Chevy. Sedan. Yeah, it's kind of lost it. Do you still have it in sight? Richmond Park, County Road to David, Med Talks Lab on an alarm covering the general park. Sedan or SUV? What's the plate? Did you have the plate? Yeah, give me one minute here. I might have it on a on a red show Chevy Impala here, unoccupied. Oh, he had an LPR here. <laughs> That's what it was. Eleven sixty nine, West Memphis. So some of our squads have automatic license plate readers and when they drive by it might take a few seconds before it hits. So if you're driving down the block you know that it's in the area but exactly where it is you have to go back. <laughs> you can not look it up on the computer but that takes a little, a little handy work. Yeah, I got it here. I'm occupied. Westminster and, uh... So you can feel like you just saw it past it. If the machine hits and you're past five cars, you make an assumption that it was one of those five, but it might not be. Right. Okay, I'll take these license plate readers that we have on some of our cars they'll they grab the image they run it through a database comes back probably well less than 30 seconds but you can travel a long way in 15 seconds yeah, you can and now you don't know which car it is for sure if you only passed one car well great but it reads all the parked cars too 
so you might you might not know you it takes a picture of the car actually the plate you could go back and look through the log to see where the car was in the picture but it's very difficult to do all that at once whoops really special if tonight was a night that you guys helped us get over 200,000. Uh, by the way, YouTube doesn't give me anything for 211. Clear advice over the cat with 316. It's and not really a special bragging right or anything. Catch my It just sounds cool, right? It does, and it, and it, and it, it confirms that our message is getting to a wider audience, which is our goal. Again. Another hundred? Yeah. So wow. we're like 350 away. Oh, hallelujah. 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 <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can tell my. I have, a, I have this little cold that Pat gave me, so. Come call back. Uh, my voice isn't as good as normal. Door, still outside on the street. Not as good as normal. Was that a Monte Carlo on old old Cutlass? Right there. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> I think that's a Pontiac Grand Prix. Oh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, in the old days, we found a lot of crooks in old Cutlasses, Grand Prix, Monte Carlos. Hundred D DVDs, Grand Prix two two. Hey, I had a Grand Prix. <laughs> yeah. Well, Thank you. What is that? Two six seven one. Bonneville. Bonneville. Yeah, well, technically that's right in the category. I was close. Yeah, right in the Bonneville. category. By the way, they don't even make those cars anymore. No, they do not. Pontiac's out of business. Oldsmobile, too, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. 362. I like the Oldsmobiles. I had an Oldsmobile Delta 88. What, 362? I use that thing for, uh... Yeah. Thermatics, my location. Mel, for police work. When I was in Burger, remember when I was in Burger? Oh yeah. We were Go doing we were rolling pretty much like we do now. Greg Lind, Rich Freckles, Larry Friday, Rogers. Friday. That's what we gotta do next Friday. We gotta bring our yearbooks and we gotta talk about the old timers. There you go. Quite the pothole. I, I, I gotta tell you, I really feel appreciative that people subscribed in the last 45 minutes like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We might get to 36,500 in the country. All right, we're going to go to this 1100 Mini Hall. You can pull it up and we can see what we got here for a man threatening with a knife. Ninety-one seventy. Ninety-one seventy. Go ahead. If you stick with us a little longer, we are going to take Coach a drive. If it gets really ten, slow, we're going another, through the fairgrounds. My way. Routine. Copy 74, can I uh, try to drive? 74, copy. They are code 4. Well, read the call, though, just for the people. Yep. Stepson is at the address. They want him removed. He was banging on the doors and windows. He's a drug user. Unknown if warrants. Two juveniles. They've carried knives in the past. Please call there at the intersection in a blue Toyota Camry for a 
was suspicious about the blue Toyota Camry. And where was the call? Tedesco. And they just, just Tedesco and Tedesco and Payne. Dropped off a customer a few minutes ago, but the customer's acting odd and wanted to do quote unquote business with the caller. <laughs> the caller took off with the customer's box in the vehicle and is concerned what may be in the box. He's in a blue Toyota camera. So basically, it's a who done it. Right. You saw the movie Seven with Brad Pitt, didn't you? Oh, yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> it's not a movie I'd recommend. <laughs> we'll be out with Echo Whiskey Charlie and I can watch. Yeah, that was pretty, uh... Do you want to check my copy of Echo Whiskey Charlie? Pretty tough. Yeah. That's long, what I'm hearing it's from a long, It's a long movie. Right now, I'm into the, the depressing part of the movie, I think. Okay, okay. now where do you, where can you see the movie? Xfinity has on it. You can buy it for $26 or you can rent it for 20 <laughs> Well, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Looking for a blue Toyota Corolla. Is the, but you got to, somebody's out of there, right? Standing on the corner or something, or what? Yeah. Oh, they're waiting in a blue Toyota. Yeah, I'm going to spot our location for spot the email. Uh, yep. Yeah, very small. I'm sorry, Monica. Is everything okay? I don't know. Hi. Yeah, but bet. Yeah, I like the Elvis movie. I'll tell you what, you know, I like history. So, I had no idea of his upbringing. That's the most fascinating part of the movie, how he was raised. Happy 898 Where he got his spiritual rhythm, stuff from living in the black community. That was all really... I got it. I got it. Uh, Mark's been assaulted by 370 area. You're calling for 104. The other city was assaulted by someone known to him named Keith Silverstein. Silverstein left in a black Kia on Highway 36. The caller is also sounding DK. Well, sooner or later, there's going to be another stolen going through here. You know that, right? Of course. Which one are you on? I'm starting to get a look. Copy the squad with this, 1595 Highway 36, and granted, forward and forward, zone 8 from the Arctic. Head to the west Carousel. sector for a while? I don't know. I don't know. You know what's going to happen if we do. Yeah.
They are discontinuing the Charger and the Challenger by the 24 model year. They're going electric. Just the police version or all of them? Uh, all of the Chargers and Challengers are going to be <laughs> that. I think electric. that's going to be like Coca-Cola changing the formula. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to stand for those <laughs> cars to be eliminated. Those are total males and females flashing westbound on Norway Pine Drive. Those are some of the biggest, fastest the cars out there. I suppose they could make them still fast, huh? Oh, yeah. <coughs> the electrics are screaming fast. Yeah. Well, they don't have to be, but I suppose they can make them like a Tesla. 2163. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2163. Huh. Well, that's an interesting. 9170 check your status. I'm glad you shared that with me. We have to get a 23 okay. charger. There you go. 8197 Yeah, once they figure out the battery life thing like, for cars, they yeah, got even the vehicle more popular. Happy vehicles in the doghouse. Once they figure out the drone battery life, drone sales and skyrocket mail delivery pizza delivery yeah, I got a bunch of street racers here westbound on Maryland from our cave yeah well 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 let's just see if we can stop them all at this light This will be good. Ambulance? Huh? Ambulance, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm going to hold the light green in. There's a gray soul. Are we looking go, for go, one? Yeah, go right. Yeah. That's what was stolen on Arundel. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we got a soul. I think it's gray. Eastbound, Maryland. Uh, crossing Greenbrier. J E K four five eight is the store, correct? Nine eight eight, please. Remember that. driving pretty slow here, but he's coming up on forest right now. Clear right. It's Mike. Oh, I don't think it's one of our guys. I gotta look at him. Yep, just crossed forest. In front of him. No. <laughs> 8196, 8197. Nancy. That's right. That's the plate? 8190 to copy. 825 for Northwest. A health and rehab unit 134. 70 year old female not conscious, not breathing. Staff, 
contact? Where are you at? Coming up on Johnson Parkway. Report. 250 subscribers away for 200,000. You know, if I had my computer here, Pat, I could actually tell who the 200th subscriber is. Really? Yeah. You know, it lists them in order. That would be cool, huh? Very. You have to call up the 200th subscriber. I still might be able to figure it out at home. Who was the 200,000th subscriber? Announcement coming Wednesday, Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon. Big announcement. Yeah. <coughs> Day before the fair. There, you know what the thing is? We missed a lot of the fair last year because a lot of the booths weren't there, a lot of the TV stations weren't there. They'll all be back. That's gonna be nice. Along with an extra million people. What the heck was that? You didn't even stop sticking in the street or what? <laughs> Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Copy. Okay. 
have. It was flooded back recently before Lexington Parkway north of the BP. An assist citizen, cop drop a five dollar bear bill. It's being very interesting about an officer coming getting it back from the clerk. I don't think I'd go back and argue about a five dollar bill. Huh. At midnight. I mean most people some people could, but Not worth it to me. If you have to argue about it. We are checking all these plates as they go by, looking for a few of our suspect vehicles. Uh, Kai, we'll get uh, another caller in this as well, and he's going to be lighting you in. It's not involved, neighbor. Confirm we're out with the neighbor, not the original call. Copy. 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 Well, I hate to run down there, but we might as well. Governance doesn't call too often. They usually handle their own problems so they don't have calls. 39, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Two males about to fight at McGovern's. Not be code four with two males that were just about to fight at McGovern's at 2344. 287 Tango, three of you. Have a good night. You as well. Any other squads for midnight, you'll <clears throat> experiment with some different broadcast software where we can transmit more than one car at a time. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. What was that? There was just one north on here. Uh, I couldn't tell. I saw it, but I couldn't tell. God knows we have enough stolen on Agate. 4483. Clear report. He turned left. 
in our way back to Rice Street. Another car we're looking for that's been very busy is a dark gray Kia Forte with uh, um, veteran plates on it. And the plates are, one second here, 598NE, 598Nancy Edward. And behind us, one vehicle, motorcycle. Four five eight seven one Mary George. For eastbound on Wheelock. East, east on Wheelock. Westbound on Mary Street. Let me put the bus next to us. The 3030 Southland Drive for a uh, 95 year old female conscious bay damage who's having an anxiety attack at 2350. Earlier this evening, St. Paul had a uh, stolen car Heavy. flee from them that they did not pursue, but he was driving so recklessly he crashed at Western and Topping. Yep. And took off on foot. They recovered a 9mm uh, Glock 19 in the car and were eventually able to track down and arrest a uh, person we're extremely familiar with with a pretty extensive criminal history. Yeah. The car started on fire. Yeah. I don't know how bad. But. Uh... Which is like here. You know, something right here, and I think it was on this side of the street, but I'm not sure. Here's oh, right there. No, yeah. no, that's no, three negative. You can clear it. I don't know what it is. 7132. We caught him. First, the, the drone, I think Roseville sent their drone down. They've been doing that a lot lately. 2390 Boulevard, Unit 116. We saw some movement in a garbage bin or something. Fever. Notice call line 1 for additional help screening. Good work.
Hi, folks. Hey, Pat. How are you? Good. Good. Are you guys live? We are. I think technically we caught you. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Oh, yeah. Good. Turned into a nice night, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're working our hardest to keep these stolons out of your neighborhood. But. And the rear plate is trying. Thanks, Have ladies. a good one. Good night. Good night. Happy Core 4 Pantacotti. Good night. Good night. Boy, we got a lot of rain this week, didn't we? Yeah, but I'll tell you what. How about some of those towns that got four inches and a flash flood? Crazy. Oh, my goodness. I've seen, you know, we went down to Rushford after the flood there a few years back. And I've seen those basements full of water with everything floating up the steps. It's a depressing sight. That yeah, is. Yeah, four inches can just pretty much... Thousand eight hundred and forty-nine subscribers. That's current. A hundred and fifty-one to go. How did you know the math so well? <laughs> so. Now, does it update as you look at that, or do you have to? My go computer in does, but my phone doesn't, which is a little disappointing. But I might be able to trick it into thinking on my computer. Here's what we're going to do. Instead of using the app, we're going to go this way. Yeah. That would be fun if we could do it. What's happening there? You don't like him from behind the saloon. You can tell. Jason, I've copy witnesses at saloon stating west of the bar. West of the bar. And last question, you repeat. 364, we had a witness that said they heard him from behind the saloon. Copy witness heard from behind the saloon as we can see. Well. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. We'll keep working it, huh, Pat, for a minute here? Sure.
got to get to the YouTube Studio version on the web version. Well, now we're only 17 subscribers away. 17? Yeah. Seven, wow. 17 subscribers away. No, no, no. Sorry, math whiz. 117. <laughs> Josh Hirsch, happy early birthday. Shout out from us and from Bree. Fifteen minutes to go till twelve fifteen. Hey, how are you guys? Hi, how are you? Scout wanted to come say hi. Hi, Scout. That's my new best friend right I know. there. There were some nice pictures posted of him on, uh, on Facebook. Yeah. Now is he Shepherd or, or uh, that? That's what I was searching for. That. Yeah. He's she's gorgeous. Bye, Scout. See you guys, thanks for saying hi. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're a natural dog owner. Man. From those pictures I saw. What a beautiful, good natured dog. And I guess he was a rescue. Oh. Number two for a suspicious where the caller's front window was just shattered and heard a huge bang prior and caller thought they heard someone walking by. Like she was a rescue that had been abused. Yeah, well, you have that aura of saving people from your street work. You might have something. Sorry, 361. Uh, Cars? Yep. Impending. Four vehicles at Victoria and Marshall going 60 miles an hour around stop signs. Two SUVs, a charger, and then an unknown vehicle. Any direction or not? Nope. Well. Southbound on Victoria two minutes ago. Yes. 
small with the headlight out. I can't get the plate, the oh, tire, the state. Sorry. I got, I got it now. Hi. Hello. Speed limit's 25, man. Okay, sorry, brother, sorry. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Take care. You too. I don't do that. Is it uh, 25 of these main ones too, or is that still 30? Either way, he was doing 40, but... I just wonder if they, I don't know what the... It's 25 unless marked otherwise. Is that what it is? Okay. 317, I'm at the front of the house. Not seeing any broken windows or anyone lurking around that shouldn't be here. What state was that? Having a uh, parallel house, Dakota. not seeing broken windows or anybody at even. 38 more to go. We had to do that. Be able to do that in about ten minutes, folks. Well, and if you're the if you're the two hundred thousands, we're definitely going to take you to dinner. <laughs> That's a fair. <laughs> Pot pretty. Twenty one ninety Thank you, <laughs> backseaters, everyone, for helping us reach this goal. We're on Grand Avenue now in St. Paul. We don't tell you where we're at as much anymore because everybody that watches almost can tell where we're at. Westbound on Grand. I have plans tomorrow. Are you going to the Hayden Heights fundraiser? Or I am. You are? Okay. Good. I should get there right at 2 o'clock. Patrick's planning to be there at 2? 
Everybody happy? Is everybody happy? Good, how are you? How you doing? Indeed. Over on the east side, probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we we did. We decided. We're, you, are you guys on that call? Those four cars. There was a suspicious activity south on Victoria. Yeah, no, we're. I was I never saw. No, we're. We're gonna find one of those stolens for you. Then you're gonna stick it for us. All right. <laughs> and just keep in sight for. A, yeah, keep in sight for 90 seconds if you see one. <laughs> thank you. Have a good one, guys. But yeah, seriously, I'll be around. All right, thank you. We got eight more, Pat. Eight more. Anybody want to celebrate with us? Eight more Whoa. subscribers. I think this light stuck. 7132. Oh, there's a green. So here we are, Victoria and Grand. Twelve, twelve. This is where the magic is going to happen. Twelve, twelve. Seven more. Oh, oh, one more, one more, Pat. One more. Whoever, whoever hits the button next is being our two. And send us your name if you think you hit the button. There it is. We're up to 2003. 200,003. 200, 200, thank you, thank you, thank you. 1213. Awesome. What's that? 1213. A lot of people were waiting. Can you send me clear report with these? Can you put us back in the traffic? <laughs> yep. Yep. That's because there's a five second delay on the phone. Happy thank you so much. We promise we won't abuse your friendship. That is awesome. Twelve thirteen. Three five. Victoria and Grand. There we three, were. Five. We went over the. Clear on the cab. Two hundred thousand subscriber mark. Every time I drive by Victoria and Grand, I'm going to think of this moment. Yep. And then the whole reason we're here is looking for some stolen cars racing around. By the way, there's been a fair number. Usually they're down here in this area earlier in the day, though. Code 4, stay to me. Have you done? Have you With the description of the vehicles, I tend to think it was more likely a uh, some kind of dispute, maybe. Okay. Sure. On West 7th Street? Not sure. 
It's 12.15. Should be it. Oh, we haven't been that by that bar down here in a while. Yeah, the tap. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap. Well, thank you again, Max Cedars. Just want to put a period on it. We're up to 127 over. Um, we'll go back. I'm going to go back and try to figure out. Cindy Murray says she was 200. <laughs> Make your claim. Make your claim. We've got a lot of claims. I can go in. back and look at all the subscribers on a computer. Figure out. I can probably if I if I subtract the number from the current one, I can probably figure out who that person was. Three one four can three oh two take four. Four. Tap looks busy. The tap's gonna say, who the hell is this guy? Hey, What's how's going you going? on? You got your little baby on the line there or yeah, what? Yeah, I'm talking to my one year old. She turned, oh, that's she, awesome. she just turned one on the ninth last month. Oh, that's Congratulations. awesome. Congratulations. Did you have one of those cakes where you smush in their face? No, no, she didn't want to do my, that. Yeah, well, my my one year old didn't want to eat anything. What's going on? How's it going? How you doing? It's been pretty chill here tonight. I got a lot no of people fights. here, but I look that way. You hardly ever have calls. The parking lot yeah. always is. Well, well now, now we've been putting more security on. So, you got a good chunk of people, just, but like it looks like there's way more than there is. Less altercation. Well, well, we don't get many calls down there. Awesome. Since the clown was down here, she just got her ears pierced too. Oh my goodness. He's got a video, oh, of, his, video of his little one. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. You got to turn the light on for her. Hi. Hi. Be like your dad. Gonna stand You're adorable. Like, who's who's like, that? You are <laughs> too cute. You are yeah. too cute. Yeah. Oh, Pat's kind of cute. So. <laughs> it's bad time for her. <laughs> Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Lily. Oh, no, 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 Rumor no. has it. We're live here and we're live with his daughter. Yeah, I'll go up a little bit. Well, go get on the camera. Get up, we'll get, he needs us to pull up a little bit. No, I got, I got, no, you got, you got to go to that side because the microphone's over. Oh, the Packers suck, huh? That's awesome, man. Try to climb up the wall, girl. What are you doing? <laughs> what do they sell? How, do they have food in here earlier or not? Yeah, it's 11:45. It's 11:45. Good food too. Maybe I better put my lights on so these people don't drive so reckless. You leaving? Alright. Bad time. What time are you guys closing now? Uh, we one. still close at two, but uh, it's one on Sundays. Okay. Fridays and Saturdays, two p two a.m. Uh, every other day, it's one a.m. We stop letting people in at eleven forty-five every night. It keeps the traffic for the parking lot and everything down. Yeah. Nice. Currently talking about crisis demanding police response. Yes. Hey. Get her. <laughs> Get her, Lily. <laughs> All right. Thanks for visiting with us. We'll see if we can get out of your parking lot. All right, boss, man. Thank you. Thank you, you be safe, too. Thank you. I will. Thank I have you. to be. There you go. Hey, Lily. 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 Two hundred, go ahead. What's he, what's he saying? We're gonna buy it for four five. Oops. Happy at two one seven. You're gonna be going to higher ground. It says you can look at the time it happened and match it up, not hard to figure out who it was. Well, that's good to know. Thanks, Dave. Add 
I really feel honored to know that people would do that for us, you know? Definitely. For a large three bus Oh, here's our our friends down here. They're screaming. We better go down here. Right there. Hey, how are you? Thanks for watching. I know, I know. This is it. <laughs> Pretty. Thank you for wearing that. That's really, that's really nice. Yeah, it's a little slow, but we, we think it'll pick up. You better stay up another couple hours. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for thanks for tracking us down. That was good work. That was, that's good. I know, why don't I pop, I pop. All right, is she up? No, <laughs> 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 right, All right, all right. Thanks, thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. She's got a friend we put you down here once before. Mm -hmm. Probably call her. Have a good night. Have a good Told her to watch it, but. One three one four. Check it out. Just for info, we have another call there. Thirty nine twenty nine three nine three eight. Thirty nine twenty nine. Thirty eight. Three one ninety nine Highway thirty six East to Target. Uh, possible burglar in progress. Target security is referring there's three subjects in hoodies attempting to get into the overhead doors. Okay, copy. Thirty copy. Two one five. Twenty one six. That's pretty dark. That's a number. Bill Plumber. That's three ninety four. All day off. Ninety six and we're on like. It is. Yeah. Copy. You need one other squad back. What was he saying? I read there? I didn't hear it. Copy. 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 Probably pull this mattress down the line with them. They're gonna take an image of the bird. Copy. Copy. Any outside the Greyhound station? Copy. Looking around here. Nothing anywhere. Copy. <coughs> Oh, so what else we got going in life, Pat? Let me think. How much left you got on your tattoo? About half. Half? Yeah. A lot of people. Are they posting a video of you talking about your tattoo? Yeah, I saw that. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing this McDonald's is not open. No, no. Open. darn it. Put the little light on yeah. the side. Yeah. Right? So on the west side, I'm going to park back by that shopping cart to walk forward. You're going to be on the south side of the building. Happy to be on that south side of the building. Should we be one of those customers that says, you know, if your light's on, it means you should be serving food? <laughs> <laughs> Have a code for. At 24, 25 minutes. Well, Dylan, you're at your cabin in Palisade with your mom. Thanks for watching us. Thanks for joining us in the back seat.
have to come on. There must be somebody oh, yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Yeah, I've been calling it 10 25 minutes. That's amazing. There it is. There's the reason that the Opticon is flying. There's some good news on that sign right there, Pat. Yeah, we saw the side of the building. Playland is open. Playland is open. <clears throat> well, we don't get any more calls. Let's run through the state fair. State fair. Kill some people. Get ready for the fair. are coming in. You want the target chicken your status? And we're losing. Two nine, two 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 Happy still two and two to point one custody. Mancini's is down here, right here. Thirty nine twelve, we're cold for. My wife and I are on the way to the victory party. party. And we're starting to see the numbers. Hey, it's like the ABC Wide World of Sports, you know, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. Let's just face yeah, it. Have a good night as well. But I always told my kids, you're right. He's going on 3rd Street, coming up from Mendota. Golf Lima Alpha 766, Sorry about that. It's going to be Golf Lima Alpha 766. Copy, he's on 3rd from Mendota. I knew it. I knew it. Copy. Copy, are you doing it at the tour? Are you going to check the area? Is there two cars there or what? Just in full. No, one, one, one stolen yeah, car. Yeah, Copy, this is Bob Kellogg Broadway. What? Well, no, he was... 766. Two different ones? And an Audi T6. No. Yes. yes. This one's on Broadway. That one's on the east Broadway. side. He looked... Great. Yeah. 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 Copy, this is Bob Kellogg Broadway. They're giving me a chance. Mark 880. Yeah, I know, it's the same car, yes. but they both saw it in different zones. Copy, last night, because I've seen Eastbound from, Eastbound from area of Arcade. And that one's third in Arcade, this one was Broadway by Kellogg. Okay, Sorry, same place. Yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably helped PR'd it. Yeah, Sorry, 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 Sor
here because the east side car was on the alarm. I think the second one was the LPR. Yeah, that's what it sounded like, right? Because the east side car saw it first further east. Clear. Eastbound third from Mendota, last place it was seen. 31 minutes. That's and it. it did not make it to Johnson. My days of going over seven foot fences are long in the past. It's already going out. The call is just being dispatched. There's a fight call being made. Go, 34 men. Triple two. Nobody steals vans, but that's. Searching a copy of the colors on top of the center. They have weapons. Money, glitch, money, What's that one up ahead? What's that one? That's, that's not an Audi. That's not an Audi. Walker, so, so, so. Put us on Copy it. Alright, Eastside Backseaters, we are looking for a 2018 Audi Q5, which is their mid-sized SUV. License plate GLA 766. GLA 766. Last seen eastbound on third from Mendota.
Is that a dead end? I hope not. <laughs> I think you can get through there. And just pull up that North St. Paul bird rig. Three five. <clears throat> North Three five. That's what they were out Ending on. or? No, I think they're out on a bird rig target. Okay. Jesus. Underneath. They arrested some people. I'll get to it in a minute. I had I pulled it up on Joe's in the car. <clears throat> no way that car could disappear unless it popped south of the freeway. Yes, sir. Say it again. All right, no problem. No problem. Thank you. So out in the little town of North St. Paul, looks like someone broke into the target, huh? Three subjects in hoodies attempted to get in the overhead door. <clears throat> Only description they could give because of bad quality video was three people in hoodies on the side of the building where the trailers parked. The squad was out with the subjects, had them at taser point. Alright, something's going on here. This vehicle ahead of us? Yeah, that's fine. Two four one VWZ. Two four one VWZ. It's not a Kia though. Yeah, Robert. I'm at a door. Toyota Corolla to Vadness. Stolens we get that our Kias are hot dogs. It's almost not stop. Not stop. Now Audis are picking up again. Yeah, it's really crazy.
Well, we didn't stay west very long. What's that? It didn't look like an Audi, but it was definitely a black SUV. Yeah. Kind of squared off. Aren't the Audis smoother? Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't flying. But we'll go check it out. Three six four. We'll check her out. And unfortunately, to copy ten twenty five thirty. American Indian Magnet for an alarm covering the northwest lot motion. Alarm company has a video clip of a male with an orange vest and blue oh, jeans we're right outside. Here. We're right here. Did you say an orange vest? There's a man with an orange vest? Yeah, like, that's what she said. Alarm company has a picture of a man in an orange vest. Northwest lot. Orange vest, blue jeans. Put that big old light out there. Put a spot to West Central headed on the two for a bit at Sparky Event. <coughs> Twenty-seven fifty-five and twenty-four hundred. We're going to be on the north side of the Indian Magnet School. Twenty-seven fifty-five, you're coming in pretty low. Can you go again? Twenty-four hundred and I are going to be on the north side of the Indian Magnet School. Company's got an alarm and they got a picture of a guy outside. What we don't know is where that picture was, but they said the northwest lot, which this is the northwest lot. So we're just basically going to watch the cor corner here for the St. Paul squad, which we saw one going by. But they may not have had the call. probably see a black Audi street by because <laughs> that's the way the job goes. <clears throat> you have to fix it. But all we can do right now is cover these two sides. The whole entire place is fenced. Eventually a key holder will come and help get in. Search the area. It isn't clear though if they were in the building or just in the lot. Oh, there's the squad. Not Just yet. you guys. Okay. Well, we were <laughs> <laughs> we over on the other side. We didn't see anybody. I said the northwest lot. We're assuming. We're assuming it's somebody trying to break into the trailer. But one two two. I talked to October on the line. Twenty four three. We are. Uh, All right. Twenty four three. 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 Well, let's wait to see what they do. What's, the, what's the new way of handling it? <laughs> 200 Cold Forge is trying to see the gentleman, so he said. Oh, there's a guy. Tell me, got a guy here. Wait a minute. That's him. 
Yeah, there's a video update on where this person might be. There's a guy in a pink shirt on the right. other side. I got a feeling this guy. Yeah. Hi. Good, how are you? We met before. Once before. How are you? I'm Bob Fletcher. Huh? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, sure. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Are you live around here or what? What street? What street? You just out walking or what? Sorry, you say does not? I'm Is there anybody from Animal Control still on? It's a pinkish shirt which could be confused for orange. Hey, somebody called. Yeah. We're, 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 it's uh, unlikely I could have a call out, but it would have to be an emergency. Do you, you go do you go inside the fence at all or not? No, two sides fence. Well, I don't know, there's a fence right there. Oh the fence is wide open, you mean? Yeah. You should go check that out. It's wide open. Is that the fence right down there? The box the fence is unlocked. Yeah, maybe that's why they call. There's an alarm in there. The fence is open. I don't doubt that. I'm just saying that's probably but it's right down there. Yeah. It's part of the it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they got all the coming Yeah, I'm guessing that's, I'm guessing, he says there's an open fence down there that he probably walked through on that side. Yeah, three or four days. Okay. 51, 51, 81, 51, 83. Yeah. 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 He lives about, he lives about the street over, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, why don't you show this officer where you walked through? Road right? and Maple Lane, that's yeah. first suspicious. That's probably where the alarm is. They're looking at vehicles stumbling in the street. Pulling something dark in his hand, caller believes it looks possibly yeah. like a handgun, I'm not for sure. An unknown race male, six foot wearing dark shirt, baggy shorts, and a white hat. A1 copy. I've seen this guy out walking before. A3 copy. You can change this to an investigate and we'll be clear report. Copy after 12 minutes. <clears throat> no, that, uh, he, he had a pink shirt on. That's him. Yeah, which, uh, Depending on the camera system, could very easily be confused with orange. Oh yeah, I, I, and, yeah, and I with it being it sleeveless, it looks like a vest. Exactly. And he admitted he's walking through the fenced-in area down here. Uh, okay. Except it's the fences, the gates are open. <laughs> <laughs> At least he wasn't carrying a bunch of stuff. Central. Come on, uh, Cook 
Encore SUV.
Clear right. Copy, you're on route 619 Rainy Avenue for a determined for a vehicle up front honking horn and stating that there are people being loud outside at 15 minutes. I don't know. If, if they yeah, stop pulling over, I'm not going to. Copy, 1010 fuel for 215 and I'll get ready to go. I'll get one at 15 minutes. What did he say? 2260. There's got to be five other cars. 2260. Pull me out to Taco Bell off Rice in Venice with a slumper, Minnesota Echo Kilo Hotel. We're figuring there's five. many other cars. Stop that, Mark. Stop these are spots here until 4 Mark and Litchfield. Making announcements. Howdy, seeing Westbound there. Hold on, I was going to tell you, I'm going to tap you before you put it out again. Yeah. That's the way they went. Um, we're trying to get to South St. Paul. Here's where they come. Well, we were certainly close there for a few minutes, my friend. Nope. Nope. We're looking for an SUV. Vehicle just took off on us. 
Tuning to copy 176, what direction? Sir, Sergeant, I copy. And northbound on Wheeler from Uni, not chasing. Copy northbound Wheeler from Uni, not chasing. That will be 301. Oh, that's 301. That one will be. is requesting approval for stop six and BC. What kind of car was that on 176? Street North. Yeah, they're that, that one took off on them and then he transferred her to What's that? That's Lee. Yeah, they've got it now. No, I think it took off. Did the vehicle play? Did the driver play from the vehicle? Oh, that would be a good question. He said the vehicle was sleeping. 176 in you and the bus. 176, I got one at gunpoint. Plop has still chasing another half southbound towards Uni. Copy one southbound on foot, 10 1. So on foot. Okay, forget all that. He said the vehicle took off, but what do we got here? This might be an Audi. What are we on? What are we on? Bates. So we'll try and race him and figure out where he's at then. Nope, it's not an Audi. 531 wheeler. A lot of half is chasing somebody that we know where he is. <coughs> 176 Blava. Union. 5363, three, checking your status. 63, we're going forward with the driver, just going to run the show. Copy. Copy, one of us. this time. Do what? That. Yeah, yeah, but about. I was thinking the one you guys were at last night first, too. We haven't, we haven't driven by that. Six do you have a physical description? Go for it. Hang You know the one you guys were at originally before we, before this on the other side? Yeah. I mean, there must have been a reason they pulled in there. Last night, when you were here. They were pulling. 176, he might have crashed Uni on that Yeah, they were, uh. Wait a minute, now we got the. Is the vehicle. Do we want a perimeter? Negative, not at this time. So we got a couple different things going on here. That that incident on Channel 1 you're hearing is over at University and Wheeler. But, uh. Boy, are you? Hey, okay. uh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. Something medical down there. 107. 176, the car stopped right now. We have, we have the car. Uh, 4428, type your place. I finally cleared that up. Happy at the restaurant. Westbound Hudson right. from Cyprus, we got right. two right. driving insane. Happy yeah. white Christmas man, driving high rate of speed, he's not there. Yeah, the driver. That they have in custody. She's talking. She's got one too. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't know. 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 What is this here that this turns into? Maple, maybe? I don't know. 20, 39, 38, transport. We're going to catch them. It's 
Transfer into the Northbound Philly. Transfer into the Northbound Philly. But I, we still want the Audi. This one, this one may not be stolen. <laughs> may not be, but... This guy ain't helping us out either, is it? You want to run or not? Turn your radio down. Seriously. Really? Slow down. All right, thank you, sir. I, I, I was just trying to make that truck to No, we saw you when you took off from the bar. I when you got... I got yeah. Whose car is this? Is yeah. The name. The name. The name. Reality what? Okay, slow down. Let's talk to this one too. One seven six. Hey. Hey, Fran. Sorry about that. Ten one. Slow down. Yeah, you were. Both of you were. I know, no. and you were keeping pace with him. Yeah. He was doing 70 and you were... Excuse me? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. That's not a request. Just slow down. What do you say? Yeah, cool. Smart move. So normally we might deal with these two cars, but we want to find the Audi that's stolen. These are just some numbskulls from the bar. Driving too fast. Neither one, neither one is our stolen car. I hate when guys argue with you. Just say okay, right? Just say okay. Okay. Give me a second to check out on the Wheeler thing first, and I'll call you. Sounds good. Good luck. Where do you I've heard that. I've heard that call before. <laughs> So, was there another sighting of the Audi, or was she I was have no idea. I'll have to know. Three eleven, I copy you on route three nineteen. Squad reported a reckless driver on, on Hancock. Correct. For a white I don't know. Jeep. I'll look. Or Chevy playing loud music outside at one twelve. That's what was going on at the same time we were chasing that. There was another squad reporting that Hancock. We advise these two cars and we are back searching for the Audi again. Well, the later it gets, folks, the less cars there are on the street, and the higher percentage it is to find the ones you're looking for. Yep. That's just the cold reality.
How's it going tonight? Good. Good. Guy's got a, quite a collection of pallets there. and he's avoiding us intentionally. He's afraid of afraid of the cat team. Absolutely. He's afraid to let us see him. Oh, there's a horse. Oh, a horse? <laughs> oh, Wilbur. <laughs> start later all the time. We're a lot funnier later. We never stopped for a cheese dog tonight. We're about to stop. Cat team stands for carjacking auto theft. Carjacking auto theft unit. I'm gonna say that truck was really close behind him. Oh, he was towing it. Vehicle Thomas was after in the beginning of the night. Six four nine six. Which one? Miss Audi. Happy ninety six. Live, we could just sit at an intersection here on third and wait for him to come to us. But that would be a little boring for you folks. You can change this to an AOA. You can clear it assisted with Central and Rams County. Yeah. 
stop, right? Mm-hmm. The change into an AOA. I got a feeling they may have recovered it without telling anyone. I can hear crickets. Mm -hmm. oh, I think those are crickets, right? Yep. Could be frogs. Man, in general, I can tell the difference between a cricket and a frog. <laughs> but I don't know. What do you think? Listen. Crickets. What do you think, bag seeders? Are definitely big crickets. Yes, indeed. No croaking going on there. It's just people, little, little insects rubbing their legs together. Which is a weird <laughs> concept in the first place, but. <laughs> yes, it is. So we got shots fired on the east side of St. Paul, and we got cops alert on Rice Street. Where's the cops fired? I'm going to run these plates first, okay? GSG 815. Last scene going cell phone, Matilda. HCE 178. Luke, what kind of car? I feel like we ran that. Two ten on one triple two. Triple two. What kind of car was it? What color is that from? Cops alert comes back to a uh, 2012 model year Nissan Altima. This is white in color in the head. He's still westbound front. Just driving the regular street. He's darked out. White vehicle. Let's go. Come to Let's go find, front Dale. Let's go find the cops alert or the shooting. Now uh, you're approaching Como Front Dale. What's the address of the shoot shots for? Triple two, there was no front plate, and the tinted windows are pretty bad. 1860 East Iowa. 18, Jesus, that's always... 290 North Knockdale. Okay, well... North Knockdale. Taylor, what's the cup for? Flames. Flames, we're trapped, stop. We don't want to stop then. <laughs> Copy, please. We're not going to chase. Well, don't, don't light him up then. 2756 area, Senate. White Nissan Altima. 219, still northbound. Jago. Should we come up like Wheelock? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Approaching Wheelock, northbound Dale. One person. Clear right. Shark cut. Yep. Great mind sink light. Control that one for me for. Trooper, we're in the area looking for your car. Oh, good. Yay. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure he's northbound Dale. And northbound Dale, we look. Keep us behind him. He's on the other white channel. passenger car. He's surrounded now. A white is he just ran the red and alert and there is a westbound alert from Dale. He turned his lights back on too. 
Yeah, Trooper, we've got a white passenger car on our way to speed with Tom Ford and 30 passengers in the Well, Trooper, we're going to have to Well, this guy ran from the police before he's got to over back up. Tom Ford. Trooper, just wants to keep it updated. Yep, sure can. Uh, did you guys try to light this up yet? Or not yet? We did not, but he darked out and flooded from us. Okay. We're still so west on Lord Mather. That way, since they got these new tires, this car drives much better. Oh, it really does. Northbound. Yeah, you can see our speed there and it feels so much special back one. You know, when we were in with those older tires. Lorpender coming up to summer streets. Westbound 36. It is stopped at the light signaling to go westbound 36 from the west. Oh, oh, and we're moving again. Westbound 36 from the west. Right here. So, just, it's gonna wrap in here in a second. Negative. 
Queen Silver, Lake Road 694. Storm 694, tequila trailing over coming in Anoka. Speeds 100, no traffic. Jesus Christ. Happy North Fine Anoka. No, oh, great call from here. You got it. Crew break confirming you still alive on your vehicle when you ground you just continue. What did he say? The trooper still has eyes on it. Just the first part, on you, bud. He can discontinue. Yeah, hey Alex, you can discontinue. Let's let, put the trooper on until we get a better spot. At least we got him fleeing. Yep, discontinued. Westbound 694 at uh, whatever this is up here, 100 block. Going over central, far left there. Cards, you can stay with it. Let's put the unmarked in front door. I saw there was one unmarked there. Who was that? Did you understand? Your ground units, we have to break off due to this fog coming in. You guys have permission to engage from us here out of it. Going under East River Road. There's a fog? Over East River Road. Yeah, going under East River Road. 2400 permission to re-engage. Well, first of all, where does the car register to? Your stick at 252. I don't know where it is at. We're coming up out. We're just going up to 252 now. Coming up to 252 for the least of the 252 at 294. Cops were on somebody that we know. Really, did you get him? We're through 252 on the split. I'm not engaged, I'm just keeping eyes on it. It's still, uh, west on 694. Doesn't sound like they know who it is. Check this building if they think it sticks out. Nobody's ahead of us. Check it with Fridley if we have stick with Copy no six. Where is it? Copy. Twenty seven fifty six, I'm terminating. Not engaged with it. Just gonna turn off here. It's approaching uh Brooklyn Boulevard, still westbound 694 if you want to notify Hennepin County. It's passing the Luther dealership now. Just to be clear, the helicopter said he's got a fog coming in or what? Yes. Copy, yes. Passing yeah. Brooklyn Boulevard, yeah. passing Luther dealership. Must be up high. That's what I'm guessing. State Patrol, still westbound approaching County Road 81, dark out. Still westbound, approaching County Road 81, dark out. Yeah, why not, huh? Exit at 81. Patrol, no, Northbound, I, I know. Sergeant Orton terminated. I exited right away. Yeah, that's fine. Northbound 81, center lane, lights back on. Northbound 81, center lane, lights back on. Look at the end of the sticks. Vehicle signaling a left turn at 10. 
signaling left turn at 10. What is that? Disregard County 6. Happy County 6. I believe that was a different vehicle. Do you still have this one on camera? If you're going to take another test with all tech one for stage takeover if needed at one for you. Yeah, we just engaged if nobody has eyes on it and it's just gonna play without fire system. Yeah, if you do give updates from the cameras, what channel would it will it be on? I I can do it, I'll one or I can just let your dispatch know. Do you have the car on camera now? Negative there, I see one from 81 to go east on West Broadway. No cameras there. Thank you. Was there a trooper right Five. behind it? No, sir. Thank you. 142. Eastbound on. Oh, this is Brooklyn. Okay. Where does the car register show? Our tactics were based upon a belief that the helicopter was going to be able to follow. And at some point, the helicopter pulled out because there was fog. Right? Yep. yep. So. The whole idea is not to have to engage at 100 plus miles an hour until you can find a spot. The tricky part of the business is that you like to know if he's going to flee. So you can charge him with that before you stick him. Although we're not opposed to sticking cars that we think are going to flee. But. Oh, if only the chopper could have stayed with him. Yeah.
patrol sergeant made a decision to terminate it once the chopper was gone and it was leaving our county. And uh, can't really argue that decision. I could have overridden it, but the thing is, he's probably in a better position to know what that, what the call load is in Ramsey County than I am. So. Sure, he was surprised as we were that the helicopter pulled off. In retrospect, probably if we were going to pit him, but the, the difficulty with pitting is you like to pit after the person has knowingly fled. To pit someone before they're fleeing, quite often it becomes problematic. So, Most definitely. Because it could be someone else using the car. So, sadly, I really thought we'd have a chance to get some sticks in front of the car, which is after you get sticks on a car, then it's a lot easier to pursue because their tires start blowing up. It's tough pursuing when they got all four tires. that over again I have the squads just fly by it and set up sticks ahead of it you know yeah. you know oh, I thought about that often yeah just just, just blow pass by pass him it. by just pass him by when he's doing 60 go up and get the sticks ahead of him not opposed to blocking people in but uh, a lot of things have to be taken into consideration Support plate just took off. We're going to pursue it. We're going to get the plate. Used to be about 100, 110. Got the information for spots. A support plate that took off. Not pursued. He's about 694 Lexington, going 100 to 110 miles an hour. Not for you, I can't even really see him anymore. I can hear him. It's way past right. He's probably doing about 150. When I exit that right, turn around. Half a vehicle, motorcycle's probably passing right, going about 150. Not for you. Ideally, we could have blown by him and thrown sticks out our window. The problem with throwing sticks out on the freeway is... <laughs> you might hit a, a few other cars. You might hit 100, 100 cars, yeah.
departments don't allow their cars to go outside of their boundaries. Yeah. Even if the crime occurred in their boundary. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's not everywhere. It's pre predominantly city departments as opposed to sheriff's departments. Definitely. Yeah. The crazy thing is <coughs> most of them are self-insured anyhow, so it's not, not as if their insurance policy doesn't cover them. these naked and half-naked guys lately. I think you're asking the wrong person.
unfortunately it's bar closed. So I got a oh, feeling oh, the line is going to be big. You know, I want to say there's a woman named uh, Beth Ingen. 4483. They used to work for, for Ramsey County yeah. Parks and Rec. Ingham, I think it is Ingham. And she designed this triple turnstile, what do you call it? Roundabouts. Roundabout, yeah. And I was skeptical. I got to say, I was skeptical. But I want to tell her, and anybody that knows Beth, tell her I said she did a good job up here. She doesn't work for the county anymore. But it is functional. Very much so. It's for traffic. It moves better. I was I was a skeptic but on these roundabouts. In routes regions with an adult male. It, it, they do result in a loss of a business or two, but as far as traffic goes, Good. Mm -hmm. Two two five. Two two five. Are there any updates? We're not currently in the squad. We're asking that we have a Negative. Last was just that he was in the bus. Bush is pantless. How are you? Once people figured out yeah, this, that roundabout there moves pretty good. Pretty much every rush hour both ways. Have come to believe they were a brilliant idea. Well, I'm not going that far. The brilliant <laughs> thing. But I do think of Clark Griswold. Yeah. In the European big man. vacation. Parliament. Big man. Yeah. Parliament. But uh, I was actually I was the mayor of Venice Heights when they put that in there, and I I made them jump through a few hoops. There was one plan for four of them. I didn't really like four roundabouts. But, uh. Just bought a back search in a copy, 44 East Hacker. The shots fired. There we go, same place. Heard about 21 from the north about a minute ago. Had like two different guns. Well, and 44 Hacker is the girl Slime's address. You know, the girl we wrestled mm -hmm. last night? Yep. So, I'm sure, house probably got shot up. We arrested, uh, last night we were working, we came in because of that Audi and the Mercedes, there was two people in there. One of the people in the Mercedes lives at 44 Acker, and she should be in JDC, but this is, remember I told you there was a war, there's a war between two different groups. None of it makes a lot of sense. But the Rose shooting on Earl, the shooting at Wilder, retaliations there. But that is that is her address. Blair and Rundle. Blair and Rundle. Oh. Blair and you got three on yours? Yep. Blair and Rundle. <laughs> Squads West has a shot fired, call it Blair and Arundel. Right. For 10 hurdles in the last three minutes in the area, with nothing seen at 203. Oh, doesn't look too bad. Should we try to get one? I think we should. Yeah. What are we eating? A cheeseburger? I'd like a plain cheeseburger. Yeah, I would too. But I shouldn't eat fries either, Pat. We can get two cheeseburgers for three ninety. Uh, yeah, then, then you wouldn't have any. Ah. Twenties black meal that was 
seemed like maybe the business from the outside as the caller drove by. The male was waving at them. Believe within six feet right away, but it's not true. Well, she may have a second now. I would like a number seven, two cheeseburger meal, but both cheeseburgers plain. All right, you want medium or large? Large, medium, large, 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 large. All right, and then, and then I would yeah. like a third cheeseburger plain, just so I get three cheeseburgers. Yeah. And what type of drink would you like? No, nah, no, no second drink. Just oh, I would like Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. So All much. Right. So much for that diet. Can I have your offer you? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's right. We gotta pay. I thought we were just using one window. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. No, thank you. Is it cold in there? What do they call you, Little Red Riding Hood? I have red hair, so they have You do. She had a red uh, hooded sweatshirt on there, if you're wondering why I asked her that. Red hooded sweatshirt, but she happened to have red hair too. Yes, indeed. Captain Eagle and Jackson Sycamore is unrelated, but they did hear that they, the shop comes from the west of Jackson and Sycamore there at Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. Yes, indeed. You know, backseaters, it's so much harder to spot these stolen when they know where you are. And as you know by now, they all watch. Thankfully, most of them don't come out while we're out, which is a good big thing. Right? Yep. Gives uh, the city a at least a few hours of relative safety. Yeah, you can do it. Ninety-one seventy-one, ninety-one seventy-two. There's some white bear call now. Seventy-two. Forty-seven hundred Clark Avenue on a suspicious cop was on a walk. Saw two young girls, about to eleven to thirteen years old. Yeah, if you're wondering, if you just joined us, we are well over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The male yell out to them. We are uh, well over the two hundred thousand tonight. Check to make sure the females are okay. In fact, we currently oh. are at two hundred thousand and. 193. 200,193. Not bad. 1,200 in one night. We are unable to get into the residence. Tried the door code that is on the call, it doesn't work. 
and I tried to call them and it goes straight to voicemail. Copy, just had an update requesting that we go through the garage door. 2163, I copy, that's what I've been trying. Medical dispatcher still on the line with them. We're trying to get a better code. Packets of salt. Thank you very much. All right, well, if we find the Audi right now, we're going to run out of gas chasing it. So we got to go across the street. I'm going to get some gas and use the restroom while you eat your cheeseburger. You know you eat a lot slower than me, right? I do. That's not. A, I'm not, not saying that's a bad thing. Cause I eat way too fast. Everybody knows that. And in large amounts. I don't want to. I thought that fuel truck was in the way. That's why I didn't. Whoops! What did we spill? Nothing. Speedway. Oh, you want to hand me one while I go use the restroom? Sure. Is it? Okay. Well, I'm gonna, can I get gas? Thank you. 
Well, I gotta say, this cheeseburger's hitting the spot. Nope, I'm good. Thanks a lot. Mm, salted them good, huh? Yes, I did, just for you. Shots fired? Nope. Did they say if they found any casings or not? Five. 
six four Furness Parkway for a suspicious gold two door sedan occupied by two park different the address for extended amount of time such as subjects are being allowed. Sorry. Maybe next time we go live, just flood the east side with cat guys, and then us go west, but everybody else stay east. No. No, I don't like that. No. Thank you. 
Sticks just for practice. Well, Felt like the squad was able to apprehend him without uh, waking him up. Last squad, go again. I just see if one two two was responding to the stuff I changed with female custody. Third round. Squad back. Squad back. Ready when you are, Pat. Good practice for Pat. <coughs> Good job. It's about time for someone to come in on LTEC. For that Audi to resurface. Yeah. Fast car. 
Yeah, he did. People were what a good guy. Tell him what a great guy he was. I worked with him a couple shifts in Central there on Rice Street. Seem and Sasser worked together, didn't they, for a while? Yep. They split them up to train us. That was quite a crew. Did he work at the jail for a little while after he retired? He worked in Washington County. He was a transport deputy for Washington County for years. He might have worked for us for a short period of time. But, uh, I mean, predominantly it was Washington County. I'd see him transport prisoners. 317. 317. Some good memories. And you had hotel problems here. 086 to the phone. And Sasser was I mean, unbelievable. Cop too, and then who's that East Side Hank? Hank Low. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he was good too. Those those guys would dig into stuff, you know. Dick Schmidt. No, oh, Dickie Schmidt oh, too. Yeah, that's it was institution. Cop extraordinaire. West or East? 429 East back here the call camera. 232. Was oh, that mean Atwater? It was Atwater, right? Acker. Oh, it was Acker. Oh, okay. Was that one? 
Well, I was way off. She is six to nine. Yeah, on field. Yeah, it was a Chevy Cruze. Yeah, they broadcast it. It's old. Yeah. Just nobody's. Here you go, Tim. Nobody took it. To the plate? That, uh, 364. There, that come back and stolen. We were to, uh, we just had shift change, but the play 187 x ray pop up calls is in this call, and that is a stolen license plate. Okay, what it need. Okay, thank you. Well, are they out on it? 229. Sounds like it. 229. It's a stolen plate. I'm gonna call Alcrop and see if she can help open the door. I'm trying to call her, but she's not sure. Pardon me? Could you could you repeat that one more time? Could you say that one more time? Whatever you just said, could you say it one more time? Okay, very good. Thank you. Effenheimers. I don't know why people just can't be kind to each other, right? Amazing. What the heck? Amazing. I think that's what happens when you have girls in the car. You're trying to impress them. Mm -hmm. Nice looking car. We're going to come up with something now, with our back seaters. You just hang in there with us. Mm -hmm. Stay awake. Ruin your whole weekend. I mean, stay awake a little longer. 9172. <laughs> 9172. Morning, custody, DWI. Copy that. Morning, custody, code 4238. That was an interesting little engagement. It wasn't good. 9172.
beautiful metro area. About two and seven. By the way, Joe Miller does a really good weatherman report. But you can cancel. Did you see his video of him doing the weather? No, oh, on his on his Facebook. It might have been on his Facebook. Yeah, in front of his window at his hotel in Florida. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at those windows, isn't that kind of odd? Mm -hmm. It's that dew point.
See if you can guess what our announcement is for Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening announcement. Fair starts on Thursday. I'm not saying they're related or they're unrelated. No, Pat is not going to be Queen of the Snows whose sculpture gets carved in butter. But that was a good guess. Great that was, guess. That was a good guess. No, Pat and Joe are not going down the giant slide together, but that's a good guess, too. <laughs> yes, Alex is going to ride in the ye old mill, but not for the purpose of normally riding in the old mill. He's going to pit the boat in front of him. Okay, here's the guess. The state fair announcement. You're going to let Pat drive. Well, that can happen anytime. You get a new car. Oh, that, that wouldn't be special enough. It's going to be more special than that. It's going to be a special, special. Both of my daughters are doing great, Christian. Recall like nationwide. It looks like a, it's planned that way. Like You're going to take us along to the fair. We finally got shot spotted. Oh, that would be that. Now we're talking. Now that's the category of surprise that would be a surprise. Special announcement, right? No, I am not going to be in a Speedo at the dunk tank. Oh, that, you know, a dunk tank at the fair, that probably would be big. We had a dunk tank for you and I at the fair. Well, or just for you. I can be the guy giving the thumbs up. That's not a bad idea, a dunk tank for Pat. No, that's Jelly okay. Joe. That's okay. Maybe Jelly Joe and Alex. I told my story about it. I did a dunk tank once. Mule Park Festival. Never doing it again. Doing dual cameras. You're oh, adding I like the extra that. cameras and cars. Well, those are coming. Those are coming. That wasn't it. Yes. Trying all the new food at the fair. Oh, well, you can count on that. No, Bob is not retiring. That would be a noteworthy, that would be a noteworthy event, though. Yeah. Bob is running for president in 2024. Now, now, now that <laughs> is a fascinating idea. <laughs> If I was ever to run for president, which I'm obviously we're just, a, it's just, it's just we're spoofing here, we would have to have a party, like a nationwide party called the Public Safety Party, or the Party of Public Safety. I want to argue about all the other extreme measures that everybody argues about. Just try to figure out a way to make our community safe. Yeah, it's amazing if you're just focused on one part of 
Like, I mean, like Luger and I, I agree with absolutely everything Luger says and does. That's just kind of funny. But, and, you know, he's been a Democrat his whole life, but he understands public safety and not letting people get hurt. And I appreciate that. Live on Patrol will be streaming every day at the fair. That'd be a good one. I, I was thinking about just mounting the camera somewhere. But that might be a little boring. People might log on to see that. Maybe I can put the camera on a drone and fly it around above there. 9174. Arrive. I think I can do that. <laughs> down at people feeling weird though. Live on patrol Saturdays with Alex. <laughs> I like that idea. Saturdays with Alex. Are we talking about like uh, walking through the park, ladies, or are we talking about on patrol? No answers. Cricket. Twinkie eating contest. I'm gonna take one quick trip down memory lane here. I don't know if I've ever driven by with you guys in the house that I grew up in. So on my right is Keller Golf Club. Home of the former St. Paul Open in the 1960s. Golf greats like Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus. Who's the guy with the hat? Uh, Gary Player? No, uh, Gary Player wore that hat, but I was thinking of the other hat. sneak out of the golf course. Our house kind of backed up in the golf course. Oh, that's right. I got to make an announcement. You didn't get to that one. Tomorrow, oh, this is big. This is big. I'm glad I thought of it. Hope nobody's listening. Mary Bartholomew, are you still listening? Tomorrow, is the 50 year reunion for the North St. Paul class of 72. Now, I'm in the class of 73. Right. right? But tomorrow is the 50 year <coughs> reunion of the class of 72. That was my class. And I've got, I got a note from Mary as to where that was. She used to live right there in that house there. And this house, I really can't. This house right there, where I grew up at. Right there. There's my house. My dad built half of that house by hand. No kidding. Yep, the whole, it used to be just a three bedroom rambler. And he built half of that house, the whole garage and all that stuff by hand. My mother and my father passed away several years ago, but my mom just passed away earlier this year. Well, I guess it was last year now. Time flies. But, um, but my niece lives in the house. That's very cool. Yeah, and these are all the, the Valentines they used to live in this house here. Hairoffs lived right. Hairoffs lived in that house. And Duluth. The Wiegerts lived on the right here. This is our neighborhood. K 
Cello Sons. Maslow, Stevie Evans. house here and uh, the Bartholomews lived I just passed their house and we gotta get Want the time and everything? No, no, no. It was on my. It was on one of these two pages. I wasn't sure if you saw when you were rolling through. No. Remember you were rolling through. I got this from Jeanette Wells. Okay. Well, yeah. Put that on there because mine was from Mary. The, Mary Bartholomew. The fifty-year reunion of the North High Class of '72 is today, Saturday, from two to seven. At Casey Lake Park and Pavilion, 2089 17th Avenue North in North St. Paul. Silver Lake Road and 7th Street, yep. California Place. Casey Lake. David Tom, William 344. Happy Colorado, Thanks for covering that. Thanks to Jeanette Wells for letting us know. We had a class of about 500, but most everybody knew everybody. We Snapchatted each other, Instagrammed each other pretty regular. There was no Snapchat back there. <laughs> There was nothing. Nope. The best thing you had was a folded note that you could slide across three <laughs> three people in the class to your girlfriend. Two tin cans with string to your neighbor's yeah. buddy's room. Yeah, we had a party line at our house, which means you, you, you didn't have your own phone line. You shared it with at least one other party, sometimes two. to pop up but yeah you know, that's kind of nice theater lighting for the holiday <laughs> something says I want to run that car sorry that we didn't have a little more going on but that's the newspaper lady Paul oh. let's go talk to the newspaper lady I used to deliver newspapers for a very short period of time. I did on my bicycle. I just want to talk to the newspaper lady. Because that's a tough job. 273 8th Avenue East. Hi. Are you a newspaper lady? We're the police. 
but we admire people that Great deliver hockey. papers. So, is that the Saturday? That's the Saturday. How many did? How many? No, no. How many did you deliver? And are you? Do you deliver them to the stores or to the houses? To the stores. You do the. You, you, you're a distributor. And then, do you, what about the old papers? Do you take those with you? You do. Oh, you do both of them. Oh boy, that's good. How many stars do you do? 38 stars. Well, that's good. That's a good job. Do people still deliver them to the houses? You got promoted. Yeah. I used to deliver like when I was young for a very short period of time. No. So, yeah. And it was a lot of work, you know, a lot of work. All right, well, thank you. Have a good day. Are the sun when you when you're delivering the Sundays? Is that really like a full car then? Sunday. You drunk all, oh, your, all the advertisement? Yeah. Can you can you uh, can you live on the paper delivery? Um. Or do you need another job? Well, like um, me and my husband deliver too. Yep. So me and my husband we make like about a thousand a week. Okay, that's good. That's good. So I just do. Do you have other jobs or? Yeah, no, yeah. I just do newspaper. Okay. And then um, and, and plus I I live with section eight. Yep. So um, and I do newspapers, so then I don't. I don't make that much, yep, yep. then they still help me with yep. my um, snap, rent. Snap, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, that's a hard job, delivering the papers, no matter where you're taking them. Especially yeah. at 3, you got to get... What time do you pick them up? I pick them up, like, at 12, but then there's time when the trucks don't get here until, like, 3, so then you have to, like, sit and wait. Are they done at 12? Or not usually? Not usually. Okay. Because, um, we, we, I think I get there, like, 12, and then there's time when the Star Tribune will come, but then we'll have to wait for the pain repair. So here's the here's what I want to know. Where can I find you during the winter carnival when the clue comes out? Can I get an early clue? <laughs> for the winter carnival? Yeah. You know those clues from the medallion. Yeah, well, well I always be here like... Um, I'm just kidding. This will always be my first I'm place. So I, I'll always be here before 4 o'clock. In the old days, the clues only came out in the paper. Now they're online. But they would come out in the paper and they, the trucks, they would print the stuff over on the west side, where is the is the is the printing press still over there in the west side of St. Paul? Um, I've I've heard that they it's, it's still in it's still in the downtown area. Yeah. But then they moved yeah. there originally. Uh, yeah, it's on the west side. They used to pick up the trucks, and then the trucks would drop off. People would wait up at uh, at Sixth and Wabasha. They would wait for the papers. There'd be like 150 people trying to get oh, yeah. the clues. And the paper guy didn't even try to like, put the papers out. He just threw the bundles out. And it was like sharks attacking. And everybody just, just rushed. Grabbed them, <laughs> grabbed them, pull them apart, get ready to get the clues. It was funny. So then what happened is people started sneaking into the printing place. They go over there and they sneak in, and or they stop the trucks leaving and try to hide. They try to go get the clues first. So. Yeah, get the clues first. Yeah, have you ever found like? One I've been of very the... close. I love very hunting. Close. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I've, very... I've like I've seen it come out on paper and stuff like that, but I've never tried when it to go and like look for it. Do you have kids? Yeah, I have seven. You should take them with because it's a great family time. You know, looking for the winter carnival treasure. Yeah, this this I'll, I'll keep that in mind this year. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. Since I'm a newspaper lady, so that yeah. might be the first one to get the <laughs> What part of town do you live in? I just live um, not too far from here. I live on Nokomis by Stillwater. Okay, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, east so then, side. Yeah, so then uh, I deliver in a neighborhood uh, neighborhood. I used so to then, live at 2088 Nokomis. Yeah, I live at 2111. Oh, wow. So, well, pretty close. Well, it was very nice of you to talk to us. And... Because we've cooking up so much of your time, we're gonna at least give you uh, a cup, a gift card at Cub. Thank you. Yeah, very much. I don't know if what else I got in there. What else do I got in there? 
Oh, here's a little speedway one too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey check this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got a lumbi My name's Yer. Yer, I'm Bob. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You said it very good though. I see my accent's pretty good, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's some okay. people that like, um, I, I would be like, like my kids, yep. they don't, uh, so my kids go to Hmong school, yep. so then um, they, will, they will know Hmong, Hmong so, but then like my, my younger ones, yep. they they don't. Yeah. So then um, I would talk to Hmong and them, yeah. to them, and then the other time I was cow, I was like, I would yell at them. Yell at them. She, she, like, she was like, Mommy, what does that mean? I'm like, <laughs> I just look at her like, go away. <laughs> I think that's okay. It's good to save your culture, but it's okay. It's okay. You can't. You can't do it all. You know what I mean. You can't just bring them to the new year and stuff and make sure they're exposed to the culture and the history. But language is sometimes tough. Yeah. Like I told my, like I told my, uh, some of my younger kids, I'm like, you guys don't even sound as good as the missionary. Yeah. Because you know how the missionary days, they, they yeah. like yeah, learn our they language. would learn good dialect. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, you guys yeah. don't sound as good as the missionary. They're like way better than you guys. <laughs> now, were the missionaries in the camps, Bonvenai, or what, or what camps were they in? The I have no idea. Okay, because there weren't many missionaries in Laos, but I suppose there were in the, some of the refugee camps. You know, but, uh, tough life. So, were you born here, or were you? Born, yeah, I was born here. You were born here. I was born in. I was recently born in California, and then California? I was. Fresno, Merced. Merced. Merced, yeah. Yeah. And my mom brought me here when I was about in kindergarten. And then I've been living in St. Paul all my life. Okay. Oh, Ever since then. Cool. Never so, move out with St. Paul. It's yeah. a great city. Yeah, yeah. Gen VP, General Bank Powell is a good friend of mine. I knew him for 20 yeah, years. Right, yeah, years yeah, so. I know not everybody loved him. I've heard of him, but I never met him. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, he lived in front. He had a house out in California, too. I heard that he had like about eight wives. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> that's true too. Yeah, I wish you not But he, I'll tell you what though, he gave a lot of, he gave his entire life just to help the Hmong people succeed. Yeah. Part of the reason you're here and your family's here is because his relationship with the American government evolved so that America would rescue the Hmong. Yes. Granted, the Hmong Special Forces <laughs> rescued a lot of American pilots. But the relationship that he built with America and how he insisted on getting uh, his community here, and he did a lot. He, you know, I'm always I always look at what the good people did versus you know how yeah. many wives they had. You know? Yeah, well, that's that's Pat's only got have. six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now nowadays you can't get you can't get as much, like two not even two wives here in America. No, no, nope. no. Yeah. No. And you know why that is? Yeah. Because because I'm, I'm like, you could try you could try to go get another wife, and come back home. I'll just well, I have to go call police. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want me to be? A, you want to have another wife? And I don't. I'm which me. I don't. I don't like being having like somebody to um like share. Yes. Well, who does? Who yeah. would? Yeah. That's no. a bad concept. So I'm like, if you ever think of yeah. having another wife, yeah. just let me go. Hey, good for you. That's the way no, it should I'm, be. I'm good with my kids. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's right. Because my kids, they're, they're like, they're very bond to me. They're, yeah. Even they're, even though their dad's there, yeah. it, it's, just, uh, it's like their dad's there, but then yeah. he don't really do anything. So then they're bond, more bond to me instead of right. their dad. Right. Right. Well, of course. And here's the thing. There's nothing more important in a relationship or a marriage than loyalty. Loyalty is the most important. You can argue about a lot of things, but if you're loyal to each other, You'll get over them. Yeah, right? I've, I've been I've been married for seventeen years. You know? So I got married when I was fifteen, and then right now I'm like thirty five. Yeah. So it's been a long time, and then I'm like the only the only reason we survived this marriage this long is you have to like um let me see how you put it you have to like be patient and um for me whatever my husband do is like I and when we argue I I like. I just sh shut him up. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know the limits. I know when he, yeah. he gets mad, and then that's when that's when I just quiet yeah. down. And then, yeah. and then well, that's I okay. just usually let him let him do his thing, let him be. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, that, yeah you know what's great about the, about night is that you can wake up in the morning and start a new day 
But forget about what happened yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Like you could argue or like Where'd you whatever. go to high school at? I went to, um, I actually went to Arlington and then um, I got pregnant when I was 17 so then after that I went to ALC. Yeah, where did, where did, where did you, Arlington, where did you grow up at? Where was your home? I was in, I, well, I was in Frog Town. Frog Town? Yeah, by, yeah. Um, near the, you know, the uh, Law Family community. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. was, I lived like down the street from there. Yeah. <clears throat> well, very good. So, Arlington. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And then now my kids, they go to HCPA. Yeah. Grade school. Yeah. You like it. Yeah. 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 It's supposed to be pretty good. I heard good things about it, right? So they got in trouble once with some of that money they were invested. Yeah, right? I was like, well, somebody was well, invested four million dollars. But if the even fact they had the fact the charter school had four million dollars says a lot of good things. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good school. Nice building. Yeah, they 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 just built a new um a new like building right yeah. across the street. Yeah. So that's like for the middle schools. Okay. So then they expend a little. I'm like, why, why, why won't they give all that money to make the school bigger? I said. Uh, or, yeah. Well, the bigger it is, the more students and the more students, the more state aid you get. But so then I, a, I noticed that like in HCPA, my my kids, one one of my daughter, my daughters, she she was vaping. Yeah. And then um I kind of like discipline her, but then and then. From what I know, almost every student in HCPA is vaping, like the middle school well, and the high school. Wow. So there's time. Well, you gotta when, talk to the principals about that. There's time when they they'll do like um like bag check, oh. and then the kids they'll be scared, so they they throw they'll throw their vape outside, and then yeah. the the people went and pick up all the vapes, but they got like two handbags of vape. Oh jeez. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like basically the. Yeah. I think it's a big problem in a lot of schools. The, the, a lot of schools have vaping, but the, the worst part is now the vapes are coming with marijuana, THC, and yeah. you know. They do have home tests. You can buy them at Walgreens or CVS for uh, marijuana, you know, to test whether your child's been using marijuana. But it's a problem. Now, you know, good luck with that one. Yeah, it's getting tougher now that my kids are like, getting older my oldest is like 17 yeah and then my my youngest is six years old so they're like just years apart from each other so it's like right now it's like more you get like it's more stress because oh, yeah. they're like getting older in the teenage year that's I, I was once a teenage you know so I know how it's like being a teenage yeah. and it scared me <laughs> It was nice talking to you. Yeah, very oh, nice, nice talking to nice you. Nice talking to you. You take care. Thank you. Nice Thank you very much. Yeah. I think that was Sergeant Suki getting a car wash. Yeah. What a delightful woman. Yeah. He is getting a car wash. <laughs> I didn't even know that had stroke. Every time I hit it, it comes on that way. I don't think that one's working. I think that's... No. Nope. I must have got to the wrong charger. I'll find the right one. This must be for my other smaller bike. Good, how are you? What do we got, Pat? We got the... black Audi is what I have in the one with the veteran plates. Yeah, I don't know. That one could have been recovered. You're pretty sure that one has I, I ran it tonight. You ran it tonight? 
And where's the other one? Oh, you're right here. This is the big one. That's the most important one. So I seen that one, but then you guys saw it right away, and so there's no point in me calling it. So then you guys Where'd were chasing you? around on 3rd Street there. We, well, we didn't see it. One of the squads saw it. Yeah. No, you guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll keep looking for that. That's the one we really Sounds want. like they really like 3rd Street. You can be more covert than us. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, well, sign off. We're going to say hi to Mark Suki, but why don't you sign off? There yeah. Go. All right, folks. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for being kind in the comments. And keep being kind to each other, okay? And we will see you next time we go live, which sounds like maybe Wednesday for the announcement. Have a good night, folks.